ayan. Okay. All right, sige. So, um, for those who have copies of the notes, you may, um, again, pwede na mo mubasi ani na notes. All right. Ayan. So, we'll start first, of course, with the biosafety cabinets. All right. Now, I have mentioned already sa CC na mugawas po ng biosafety cabinet even outside of microbio. And true enough, migawas siya sa inyong kompre sa CC. All right. Now, for now, sa so micro para, sir, mag-tune ba Japan me for biosafety? Yes naman. Okay. Okay, baka lumabas ulit. Sayang ang points. All right. Okay. Now, for biosafety, again, what you have to remember, mga keywords, no? Uh, no recirculation, 70% exhausted, muna siya yung i-take note. Kung no recirculation, that's BSC type 2, B2. And 70% exhausted, uh, BSC 2, B1. All right. I sorry, Marag, 1, B2, then you dear, sorry, you need 2, B2. Okay, essential. Typo. All right, anyway, so this table is from Bishop, no? Um, so, they usually ginakuha ang questions for BSC, no? And katong, if na may picture itong Kadeen Rodriguez yung lecture, pwede put that. All right, you can also use that. But take note lang mga keywords, no? Kinsa itong 70% exhausted, pila ka percent air ang recirculated, kinsa itong 30%, pinata. All right? So that's for your BSC. Next, we go now to 3 and 4, the types of mga disinfectants, no? You have iodophore and tincture of iodine. So how do you remember ang composition? Iodophore, ang composition niya kay iodine plus detergent or any solubilizing agent such as surfactants. And for tincture of iodine, that's iodine plus alcohol, 70% alcohol. So how do we remember? Iodophore, di ba yung magmaminaw ka sa iodophore na word? Mara siyang sabun, no? Paminawon. So iodine plus detergent, muna siya yung composition. For tincture of iodine, if maminaw ka, iodine plus alcohol. Di ba marah kong mahubog? Charot. <laughs> so, tincture of iodine. Marah siya, kanaganin ito. Kasi maminaw ko sa word na tincture, marah siya ka nang makahubog or marah siya ka nang, uh, basta marah siya makahubog. Ganun. Okay? So, tincture of iodine, iodine plus alcohol. So, take note, uh, ginag-question dyan po siya sa, bird, sa boards, kung sa composition sa iodophore, kung sa composition sa tincture of iodine. Alright. Okay. Now we go now to the genetics of bacteria. You have three major processes. Number one is your uh, transduction. So transduction facilitates the use of a virus. And kung sabi na virus, that is your bacteriophage. All right. So the use of a virus for the genetic exchange between two bacteria, that is your transduction. So if ang question kay, it uses uh, a virus for genetic exchange. Walagi mention na bacteriophage. Then press the buzzer in answer kay. Transduction. And next, if ang DNA gikan sa environment, like na namatay na bacteria, alright? And then ang DNA niya kay na express sa environment, gikuha sa ubang bacteria, then that is the process of transformation. Of uptake of free DNA from the environment, alright? And the last one is your conjugation. Cell to cell contact of bacteria for the exchange of genetic material. And usually they they make use of this or they facilitate this by the by the use of your pili. Ayan. Ayan. Pili, no? Uh, P I L I. Pili. Alright? So that's the purpose of your pili. It's for conjugation. Alright? To connect one bacteria to another for the exchange of genetic material. Alright? So that's the purpose of your pili. So again, take note of the three major um, processes of genetic exchange. Number one, again, with the use of a virus, in sa ganito, you have transduction. Uptake of free DNA from the environment, that is transformation. And lastly, cell-to-cell -cell contact with the use of a pili, that is conjugation. All right? So, ang pili, it will serve as a bridge you know, between uh, for the transfer of genetic exchange between two bacterial cells. All right? Okay. Next, we go now to the different um, infections acquired in the microbiome lab. As you can see, these are these are mga diseases that can be um, acquired from the specimens that are process. So you have shigellosis, salmonellosis, usually from stool samples, ba? All right. So contact precautions, direct contact or nakuha siya pag, pag manipulate sa specimen. You have tuberculosis, brucellosis. Of course, these are mga airborne yung mga diseases. And lastly, you have hepatitis, no, from blood samples that are process. All right. Or mga needle stick injuries. Ayan. All right. Next, you have. The responsible for exposure control plan is your laboratory director and supervisor. Now, again, we go on to the different BSL levels, uh, biosafety levels, BSL levels, biosafety levels, and the agents found in each level. Again, your BSL1, these are agents where 
wherein they are not known to cause any disease. And usually, these are agents used primarily for academic purposes, no? for teaching purposes. So, kinsa na sila? You have Bacillus subtilis and Negleria gruberi. No? So, again, they are not known to cause any human infections. They are used primarily for the purpose of teaching, academic purposes. All right. Next, you have BSL-2. These are agents that are known to cause infections. Uh, they cause the most common na mga infections. No? You, have your, you have your HIV, hepatitis B, salmonella organisms, and even prions. But again, remember that HIV depends on the use. No? If mugamit og daghang concentration, di ba? high concentration of HIV, it is now, kung saan siya na facility, you have BSL-3. Di ba? Negosin yung quiz, di ba? Magama, magama daw vaccine for HIV. And mugamit sa high concentrations of HIV, therefore, the facility must be, kung saan na level? Level 3. Ayan. Alright. So, I think tama naman yata. <laughs> tama kayo doon. Alright. BSL-3. Okay. All right. Next, for uh, for BSL-3 agents, now these are agents usually that are airborne um, in origin. So, pwede sila makuha from inhalation from the environment. So, example, you have MTB, Coxella burnettii, and the mode stages of systemic fungi. All right. Now, take note, di ba, mode stages of your systemic fungi. Your systemic fungi are dimorphic. In some of systemic fungi, you have blastomyces, you have coccidioides imitis, histoplasma capsulatum, Paracoxidoides brasiliensis. And remember that they are dimorphic. They have the mold forms and the yeast forms. And the infective forms of these fungi are on some the mold forms. And the mold forms are what we inhale from the environment. Okay, so they are BSL3 agents. Your MTB and Coxella burnettii also can be inhaled. Aerosol born, airborne is All right. Coxella burnettii, don't forget, beers. This is the positive agent of your Q fever. All right, diba? letter Q. Fever. Nako, sinasabi ko talaga. Q fever, it's a positive agent. You have Coxella <clears throat> Burnettia. Alright. And of course, the BSL-4 agents, the highest level, these are agents uh, that are usually causing uh, viral hemorrhagic fevers or mga encephalitis. And usually, ang makita nila are mga viruses. Uh, they have the arboviruses. Again, what are arboviruses? These are arthropod-born. Ayan, yung sa pangalan na arbo. Arthropod-born viruses. Arena virus or your filo virus. Again, most of these are arthropod born, meaning they are transmitted by insects, by vectors. And again, the disease that they cause are usually hemorrhagic fevers and mga deadly na mga fevers. So these are very dangerous to isolate and to manipulate, and they are very contagious also. So they need a higher level and the highest level of protection, the BSL 4. All right? And for Viro Diagirs, no, sa atong lecture, mana siya, na upload na ko siya. I'm sure maragin niyo magmalantaw karon. <laughs> Pero if you have time, please watch them. Okay, important to do. Alright? But you have the notes of the video naman. You can use that for study in Japan. Alright? Okay. Now for um, specimen transport, it's generally uh, recommended to transport the specimens within two hours to the laboratory. But of course, depending on the sample pool, sterile body fluids and the rest should be transport, transported immediately. No? Uh, but generally, dapat within two hours to the laboratory. In sa tong organism sensitive to changes in temperature, you have Neisseria meningitis. And sensitive to changes in pH, you have Shigella. All right. Now, sensitive to SPS or sodium polyanethyl sulfonate, the anticoagulant found in your uh, blood culture bottles or blood culture tubes. Yes, in sa tong mga sensitive, you have Neisseria, Peptostreptococcus anaerobius, Gardnerella vaginalis and Streptobacillus moniliformis. So how do we prevent them from being um, affected by SPS? Ang sa natong i-add para mawala ilahang sensitivity to SPS. Ang sa natong reagent. Your? Sa natong i-add. It's not SAS. <laughs> Your? Hindi po charcoal. Yes, I think that is a book me being what's happening. Citrate, bilipud citrate. Why? <laughs> Mas matoy ad. Para mawala ilahang sensitivity to SPS. This lang affected. Your? Ito man reagent. ARD. ARD is an antibiotic removal disease. So the purpose of the ARD is to remove antibiotics if the patient has already been taking antibiotics. So, ang ARD, ang purpose is not to remove the organism or to remove SPS, but to remove antibiotics. So, it's not ARD. Napa, go, think, uh, kaya yan. Kung <laughs> saman. 
Ano itong ina-add? To prevent sensitivity. Ooh. Hala. Wala na? <laughs> we add? That's what we add. Your? Hala, wala na good. Okay. <laughs> we add 1.2% gelatin. Failures. We add 1.2% gelatin. Take note, dears. To prevent or to stop, no? the sensitivity effect of SPS to these organisms. All right? Kung sa itong i-add, 1.2% gelatin. 1.2% gelatin. All right, take note of that. Thank you. All right, so these are the organisms that can be, again, affected by your SPS. All right. Next, for urine, stool, viral specimens, and the rest, they can be stored at 4 degrees Celsius. But take note for, that for viral specimens, um, 4 degrees Celsius na storage, it's best lang if specimen is delayed for no longer than 5 days. Okay? All right. Now, for serum, it's best to be frozen at negative 20. And for long-term storage of tissues or specimens, negative 70. Okay, all right. Now, for blood culture, it's recommended, again, to draw blood at the time of the febrile episode. Two sets from each arm, not more than three sets within the 24-hour period. So, this is from, I think, Bailey's Atusha. So, again, take note, um, if a question, which nigawa sa quiz ninyo, which of the following uh, is the best time to collect specimen for blood culture? The answer is during the fever spike or while the fever spike or during the febrile episode because again this is the time where mas daghang bacteria na naka all right okay so during ha during the fever spike all right next what is the purpose of enrichment media in your enterobacteriaceae it extends the lag phase of the normal flora and shortens the lag phase of your pathogens diba remember lag phase sa growth ng bacteria the lag phase is the parang plateau for sono. So therefore, we want to extend the lag phase of those normal flora because we don't want them to grow and shorten the lag phase of the pathogens which is what we are after, you know, the pathogens. So we don't want the normal flora, mga contaminants, so at extend yung lag phase para di siya motubo, okay? And your uh, pathogens shorten ilahang lag phase para sila ang ma-recover na to. Alright? Okay, so that's the purpose of your enrichment media. Uh, for enterobacteria Z. What is again the enrichment media of choice for the isolation or the the propagation of Vibrio species? Alkaline. Uh, very good. Tama. APW. The alkaline peptone water. Alright. Very good. Number 23. The minimum concentration now of bacteria or cells uh, that can be visualized by microscopy it's 10 to the 5th cells per 1 ml of specimen. So this is from Bailey and Scott's Gapper. All right. So mga must to know. Okay. 10 to 5 cells per 1 ml of specimen. Next, what is this stain that we can use to verify no? the presence of bacteria in blood cultures when gram stain are negative? That is your acridine orange. Because acridine orange, it, it, uh, it, uh, it reacts no? or combines with your nucleic acid. So if you see sa gram stain, the fact that I nucleic acid sa blood culture, kung positive siya with bacteria, is stained siya sa acridine orange. So, mufluorese in mga specimen, and that will confirm the presence of bacteria even if negative ang gram staining. Alright? But the disadvantage lang is you cannot differentiate kung pinsan na bacteria. Alright? Kay mufluorese ang mga dapat mufluorese. Charo. <laughs> mufluorese di mayo sila, ganun lang. <laughs> mufluorese sila <laughs> kung nasa lang nucleic acid. Alright? So, kung in mga specimen that have nucleic acid, mapil po siya fluorese. And say colors of fluorescence, orange. That's a pangalan na. All right. Okay. Next, you have. All right. Next, you have the critical or panic values in the microbiome lab. Again, the critical or panical, pa, panical, clinic, critical or panic values. These are values or results in the laboratory that once they are seen or recovered, you have to report these results immediately to the physician because it always means or it could mean a life-threatening disorder. It's a matter between life and death. All right. So each laboratory in the section, not only in microbiology, they have their own sets of panic values, diba? So sa book ni Dean, uh, diba? Na discuss nato na sa lecture niya. Nawala, nawala ang positive cryptococcal antigen and malaria. But ato rin ang irritating because most of your books could they still have that, no? So again, take note. Kinsa pa mga panic values? Of course, if there is a an organism na na recover from a sterile site, meaning na ay organism na na recover from blood, na ay organism na recover from CSF and mga body fluids because these body fluids are considered to be sterile meaning under normal circumstances wala dui kagaw na naadira alright yeah if naay kagaw dira it could mean na munay nagcause sa infection 
So, kailangan siyang ma-report agad-agad because it could be life-threatening. Another one is mga samad-samad, no? Especially if the organisms found there are known to cause necrosis, no? Tissue necrosis. You have espyogenes, di ba? Necrotizing fasciitis. Clostridium perfringens, gas gangrene, di ba? Mga tissue necrosis. All right. Aside from that, the recovery also of mga uh, well-known na mga airborne no? or mga infectious na organisms such as your brucella, legionella, and of course, mga antibiotic-resistant um, bacteria. All right. Aside from that, as positive, positive acid fasting, of course, MTB, because MTB is deadly for and infectious. And for parasites, of course, malaria, because malaria, again, is very deadly. And for cryptococcal antigen, for fungi, again, this is to facilitate the early detection for our AIDS patients. Because your cryptococcal antigen is usually positive um, in mga immunocompromised patients because of cryptococcal meningitis. All right? So that's for your panic values. So that's the question in your quiz, diba? Which of the following scenarios uh, would, uh, would need to be reported immediately to the physician once seen in the laboratory? So ako nang ipatsyada, no? Ako nang i-explain ang panic value. Okay? So look at the scenarios again and then Oh, yeah. you can you can analyze it but it will be memorized all right okay so that's for the critical values uh, in the microbio laboratory 26 you have um, another culture media that can be used to differentiate hemolytic patterns aside from blood agar plate and that is your columbia cna with blood all right cholestin nalilisic acid agar no if i'm not mistaken so pwede siyang ma-differentiate ang hemolytic patterns not only back your columbia cna with blood all right now, we go now to the different culture media and their uh, pH indicator. Kinsa to mga media na na ay uh, neutral red, you have the mnemonic ESMA. So, do not be confused ha. Lai po ng media na ESMA. So, ang ESMA kani, it's SSA and Makonki. Salmonella shigella agar and Makonki agar, they have neutral red as the pH indicator. Next, you have phenol red. Kinsa to mga phenol red na culture media, you have mixed cut. Okay? Your mixed cut, aminin, MSA, manitol salt, agar, XLD, silos, lysine, deoxypholate, CTA, your uh, cysteine shiftikase, urease na agar, and your TSI, triple sugar iron, mixed cut. Alright, so sila na mga culture media na ay phenol red. Next, you have bromthymol blue shots. No? C stands for citrate. Your HEA stands for hectoen enteric. OF, light lapson for OF glucose, no, for oxidation fermentation. TCBS, thiosulfate, citrate, biosalts, sucrose, agar, and your SEA, simon citrate, I think. All right. And the only one with your brom, cresol, purple, LIA, lysine, iron, agar. All right. Now, microaerophile, take note, these are organisms that only require a small percentage of oxygen. And these are the organisms. You have C. jejuni, Campylobacter jejuni, and H. Pylori. Basta na-mention ka rin ng microaerophiles sa inyong exam, sa case study, whatever. The first organisms that should come to mind are your Campylobacter and your Helicobacter because they are microaerophiles. Nasa pangalan na, micro. They only need a small amount of oxygen. Alright? So as you can see, uh, reduced oxygen and increased carbon dioxide. So 85%, if pangutanan mo sa ang gas requirements sa uh, inyong microaerophile, 85% nitrogen, 10% CO2, and 5% Oxygen. Take note. So, the mayra you know, concentration of oxygen. 85% nitrogen, 10% CO2, and 5% oxygen. Alright. So, that's for uh, no, the gas requirement. So, take note of that. 85% nitrogen, 10% CO2, 5% O2. Alright. Okay. That's for the micro aerophiles. Alright. Next, we go now to yeah, <laughs> the susceptibility of this antibiotic, of an organism to this antibiotic can confirm an unknown gram stain status. Imagine, let's say, na kay gram stain, na di ka sure if gram positive or gram negative. You may subject to the organism to this antibiotic. And what is this antibiotic? Vancomycin. Because vancomycin is always against your gram positive. Your gram positive organisms is always susceptible to your vancomycin. Your gram negative are resistant. That's why, if gana kay confirm ang status, if susceptible ay muhang unknown organism, like dilik claro yung gram stain, if susceptible siya to vancomycin, then most likely that is gram-positive. And if resistant siya, then that is gram-negative. All right, okay. Next, you have the Malditoff MS. Of course, we have discussed this uh, yeast na to na discussion. Um, it's more on 
detecting the mass of the different uh, proteins, different composition of your organism. Alright? And then, imo siyang ionize and then mulupad sila, and then imo i-count ilahang time of life when you're there. Alright? And then, i-compare nimo ang results sa spectrum database sa machine to identify the organism. Alright? So, that's Malditov MS. Okay. Alright. Next, you have kinsa mga oxidase positive organisms. Of course, you have the Pleshomonas, Aeromonas, uh, Pseudomonas, Moraxella, Vibrio, Campylobacter, Kingella, Helicobacter, and Neisseria. O, diba? So, at least aware na kinsa mga oxidase positive. Kinsa mga oxidase negative, of course, Penotrophomonas, Acetobacter, Francisella, the Enterobacteriaceae, nako, nako talaga, Fred the Wazer, no? Enterobacteriaceae, the staph, Gardnerella, and Stratococcus. So, basta gani, one of the main characteristics due to Enterobacteriaceae years is that it is oxidase negative. So, if naka case study, makita ni mo na gram neg bacillus, oxidase negative nako. The first organism or group of organisms that should come to mind are the Enterobacteriaceae. Okay? Because that is really distinct, very important characteristic of your enterics. They are oxidase negative. Your enterics are oxidase negative, catalase positive. They are non-spore formers. They all ferment glucose. They reduce nitrate to nitrite. Okay? Alright. And most of them are motel except for sky. Shigella, Klebsiella, and Yersinia enteropolitica at 25 degrees uh, Celsius. Ah, motel siya at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay? Tama ba? Alright. Yes. Okay. Anan motel at, motel at 25 degrees Celsius. Yes. Tama. Okay. Alright. Okay. Tama. Alright. Okay? Take note of that. Okay. Sige. And of course, we go now to the different types of antibiotics. Kinsa to mga bacteriostatic, kinsa to mga bactericidal. So, bacteriostatic meaning only inhibits the growth. Ang bactericidal patchung good siya. Alright? So, this is from Bailey and Scott's. Baka in the future, I ask which of the following agents is a bacteriostatic, bacteriostatic agent. Which of the following is a bactericida? So, at least aware na. Alright? Okay. Sige. So, that's for the different types of um, antibiotics in terms of Bactericidal ba or bacteriostatic? Alright, okay. Now we go now to the organism, starting first with the staphylococci, kinsa itong mga coagulase positive. Of course, daghan sila. It's not only staph aureus. You also have staph slavery, some species coagulants. Staphylococcus halicos, intermedios, and pseudo intermedios. So this is from Bailey's na. Marwala na ako na update siya, dears, pero mukha ni siya ang naa sa Bailey. Alright, now how to differentiate? Coagulase positive, VT negative, PYR positive, that is Staphylococcus intermedios. So, VT negative, Staph intermedios. Si Staph aureus, PYR negative. And katong positive sa tulo, that is Staphylococcus slavery, subspecies coagulants. Wrong spelling ng Shadir Chasensha. Alright? Pero among the rest, among them, the true coagulase is your Staphylococcus aureus. Naman, of course, siya ang true coagulase because it has both the free coagulase and the bound coagulates. All right, okay. Susceptible to XXT or sulfamethoxazole trimethoprene is your group C streptococci. You're resistant usually on the other strep, diba? Resistant to strepto, uh, resistant to XXT. Okay. Nutritionally variant streptococci, your abiotrophia and granulicatella because they require pyridoxal vitamin, vitamin B6 for them to grow. All right? And that is produced by your staphylococcus aureus, so naay satellitism around Staphylococcus aureus na colonies. Alright? Because your S aureus produce the vitamin B6. Alright. Now, let's say down na kay optokin resistant we intubated, pero pag increased CO2, nahi mo siyang optokin susceptible. So, this is Streptococcus pseudonomoniae. Kay mo suhid siya sa imuhang Streptococcus pneumoniae. Alright? So, pseudonomoniae. Uh, optokin resistant siya, pero pag increase mo sa CO2, nahi mo siyang susceptible. No? So, Ano siya, double para, charot. So, pseudo pneumonia. So, how do you confirm kung uh, streptococcus pneumonia ba siya or streptococcus pseudo pneumonia? You perform, of, uh, you, you perform bile solubility test because your streptococcus pneumonia bile soluble with siya. When you say bile soluble to streptococcus pneumonia, the organism will dissolve in the presence of bile or 0.5% sodium deoxycholate. The, the reagent will dissolve uh, the organism. That's why it's called bile soluble. Madissolve siya sa imuhang bile. Alright? And that is characteristic of streptococcus pneumonia. <clears throat> Alright? <clears throat> okay. Next, you have the D-test. Ayan. There was a question sa D-test gahapon. Diba? If positive ang D-test na i-blunting, how should you report the result? Alright? So, your D-test is a test for inducible clindamycin resistance. 
Now, when will you perform this? If kani ang initial results ay mong EST, okay, kani siya, dears. Kung inani mo nakitan, clindamycin sensitive, erythromycin resistant ang Osaka organism, uh, usually Staphylococcus aureus yun, then you have to perform the D-test. Why? Because it may indicate na, let's say daw, base na inducible clindamycin resistance brought about by erythromycin. So by the name itself, inducible, no? It's a resistance brought about by another antibiotic, in this case, erythromycin. So pag sa D-test na flattening katong letter D, it means that there is a possibility that the organism can have resistance to clindamycin in the presence of erythromycin. Therefore, if positive ang D-test na blunting or flattening, how should you report how should you report the result? You should report it as <laughs> you should report it as clindamycin resistant, erythromycin resistant. So both resistant, no? Both resistant to the antibiotics. But if negative imuhang D-test, meaning walay flattening, walay flattening nahita both, you report that as erythromycin resistant lang. Because walay inducible uh, clindamycin resistance nahita both. Alright? Okay, so that's for your D-test. Okay, so take note of that. Kanisha, muni siyang initial uh, test result. Okay? So if kaniya makita ni mo pag EST ni mo organism, pag test ni mo antimicrobial susceptibility sa mo sa kastap or use, you have to perform the D test to test for inducible clindamycin resistance. All right? Okay. And if positive na siya for D test, how should you how should you report the result? Erythromycin clindamycin resistant ang imuhang organism. Okay? All right. Ayan. Next for novobiosin resistance, of course, the novobiosin resistance is used for uh, identification of kinsa na species, the staph saprophyticus. Your staph saprophyticus is again resistant, susceptible si staph epidermidis. Alright, okay. Next, taxo A. Ayan, ako taxo A or also known as bacitracin resistance. This is for the streptococcus, especially pyogenes. No? Strep pyogenes is susceptible. Your S agalacti is resistant. Okay, so how do we remember taxo A, nasa letter A na, para, para kakinsa siya sa group A streptococcus. And kisa na si Taxo A, daghang letter A siya nga lang, Basi Tracin. Alright? Taxo A, letter A, it's for group A strep. Anong siya nga lang? Basi Tracin. Daghan siyang letter A. Alright. Next, you have Taxo P, or also na si your Optokin. Alright. Optokin susceptibility. Again, this is used for streptococcus pneumoniae. As pneumoniae is susceptible, no? And if it's less than 14, perform bile solubility to confirm again if it's pneumococci or strep pneumonia. Because again, as mentioned, biosolubility jude is really um, a characteristic yud of S pneumonia. Alright? So how do we remember? Taxo P. Yung sa ngalan, ay letter P sa ngalan. Op, tokin. And para kakin sa siya, para po kay letter P. Streptococcus pneumonia. Alright? So taxo P, op, tokin, ay letter P sa ngalan. And para kakin sa siya, letter P po. Streptococcus pneumonia. Alright? Okay, take note of that. Again, I say other name ni Optokin, aside from Taxopi, it is also known as your? IHCL. Ano ka to? Katong na IHCL sa last niya na name. So, say it's atong first. Kung last ni HCL, ano ang first? Ethyl in M. Ano ba yan? Ethyl hydrocuperine. Ayan. Ethyl hydrocuperine. Ethyl hydrocuperine HCl or hydrochloride. Ayan. So ethyl hydrocuperine, right? Ethyl hydrocuperine, ayan, HCl, hydrochloride. Okay? Ethyl hydrocuperine HCl. Don't forget the meaning, no? And when you try to go sa quiz ninyo, di ba? Ako lang describe ang octokin. Okay, ayan, sige. So that's for um, your octokin or your taxo P. How do we remember again? Taxo P, ayan, Taxo P, it's for the group uh, for strep to focus pneumonia. And again, uh, ang siyang other name, optokin, and or also known as your ethyl hydrocuperine uh, hydrochloride. Alright? Okay, take note on that. Kung Taxo P si optokin, Taxo A si bacitracin, kinsa man si Taxo N? Oxidation. Wow, galing. Very good. That's oxidase, no? Taxo N is oxidase. Take note of that. Alright. Okay. Sige. So, that's for 
Ayan, ako din ang eraser. Okay, anyway. So, that is for your uh, taxopi. Alright. Now, we go on to the different Clostridium species in terms of the location of their spores. Alright. Now, sa Bailey and Scott's Nilikandirs, the spores are usually subterminal and the appearance may be described as tennis racket. Alright? And according to Bailey's, that is Clostridium botulinum. But take note, if mo gawa sa quiz or sa exam, you describe Japan as tennis racket, alright? Or takhead basilus ng gibutang or drumstick appearance. Of course, ang atong i-answer Japan is C. tetani. I'm just presenting to you na you describe po siya as tennis racket si C. botulino. Pero ang true Japan na uh, tennis racket, drumstick appearance, takhead is of course your C. tetani. Kay round terminal spores ang naan niya, alright? Next, you have causes sulk hemoglobininia. In patients with severe constipation, that is C. perfringens. Take note of that. Remember that C. perfringens is your gas gangrene bacillus, meaning it produce of gas. So therefore, if constipated ang patient, dili molihok kaya hang etach. So the C. perfringens can proliferate. The gang C. perfringens, the gang gas na ma na ma na, 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 na produce, and this gas will combine with your hemoglobin to produce salt hemoglobinemia. All right. This is from Hendy's. Take note of that. All right. Again, sa mga hemoglobin ni na types, kinsa tong hemoglobin ang dili ma measure sa mga science met hemoglobin method. <laughs> there was silence. Kamusta so, tong hemoglobin? hemoglobin? Okay, very good. Ayun, tinitas ko lang kayo na diyan na so hemoglobin. It's the so hemoglobin that cannot be measured by your science met hemoglobin method. All right, very good. Again, basta pangutanan mo kinsa tong bacteria associated with so hemoglobinemia reservoir that is Clostridium perfringens. All right. And in sa tong, uh, positive organism of antibiotic associated pseudomembranous enterocolitis because of na suppress na normal flora sa intestine because seeing that take of antibiotic um mycin you have C difficile or difficile. All right? Take note of that. So imuhang uh, imuhang colon kay medyo mo enlarge and maghubag. All right? Antibiotic associated pseudomembranous enterocolitis C. difficile. So you usually uh, mag-suspect na kag C. difficile if ang patient sa hospital uh, more than 5 days na dito, dugay na, and then nagkalibanga, nagkalibanga siya suddenly. Alright? So you have to suspect of C. difficile. Okay? Alright. So again, it's brought about by too much. Sige nga, inong mo antibiotics. Nasuppress na normal flora sa imuhang kiyan. May proliferate ang C. difficile. Again, mahubag imuhang colon. Alright? Pseudomembranous enterocolitis. Alright. Okay. Ayan, sige. Next, ayan, question. How do you differentiate Listeria from Streptococcus agalacti? Because again, both of these organisms can cause meningitis in the neonates, no? So how do you differentiate, of course, the very evident is gram stain smear? Because of course, morphology pa lang daan, aware na ka. Because your Listeria is a bacilli, your Streptococcus agalacti is a coxi. And for, <laughs> for the motility, another one, of course, your Listeria is motile, your Streptococcus agalactii is non-motile. And lastly, catalase. Your Listeria is catalase positive. Your Streptococcus agalactii is catalase negative. All right? Take note of that. All right. Next, what are the tests to differentiate Listeria from Corrine bacteria? The bile espine hydrolysis and salicin fermentation and motility. Listeria pa rin ang motile. Corrine bacteria is non-motile. So, ngayon may mga inani beers because na mga previous board exam, not during our time, Na mga question kay inani, like which of the following tests will differentiate this theory from inana? Which of the following tests will differentiate this organism from another? So, diba, medyo makasyok? Oh my God, mabuha ko, anana. So, again, at least karon, andam na ta. Alright? Okay, sige. Next, gram-positive bacilli, H2S producer. Na, oh my God, press the buzzer agad-agad because this is a distinct characteristic of this organism. Alright? And usually, if my ka recover ka ani, gram positive bacilli niya, they produce progeny of H2S, most often than not, iyahag yung me. Because, siya yun ang pinaka common na ma-produce ani, kinsa na si Erysi pelotrix rusopati. Wala nang iba. Erysi pelotrix rusopati. Basta gram positive bacilli na H2S producer. Pero kung gram neg bacillus na they produce of H2S, the kang pwede. Alright? You have the enterics, you also have Shiwan nila. Pero for gram positive bacilli, Na H2S producer, again, press the buzzer na view, very distinct characteristic of a rising pedotrix, Alright? Ayan, take note of that, dear. So, mga case study, ayan, 
na kay nakitaan or dimension dito gram positive ba sila? H2S producer nako diretso nag shade dyes answer na di ba? Wala nang di na magduha duha of course that is the rising pellet tricks rujo padi. All right, okay. Next one is the selective medium for Gardnerella vaginalis, your human blood by layer twin agar, your HBT. Okay, all right. Sige. Next, cold enrichment method para kinsa na siya dears, of course, listeria, monocytogenes. But you can also use that also for your senia enteropolitica. All right. Biotypes of Guarani bacteria, of course, you have four, the gravis, the mitis, the intermedius, and bell binding. So, nani siya sa, I think, nasa book ni Dean Foot, all right, and the lecture book niya. All right. Next, for any bacteria growth, sa back, you have a narrow zone of beta hemolysis. You have LSS and pi, enhanced pleomorphism and metachromatic granules. For telluride medium and Tinsdale agar, brown-black colonies. And ang Tinsdale, na siya brown-black with halo. And again, sa itong name, sa iyang metachromatic granules, ako, gas, gas, na, gas, gas, na. That is your uh, metachromatic granules sa mohang kuraini, you have Bates James Ernst Granules. James Ernst Granules. Very good. Okay, all right. See. Next, resembles C. diphtheria colonies. So, di ba, the C. diphtheria colonies, na siya brown, black, with halo. But, na siya mga, mga kapareha o nawo, no? And that is the Corinibacterium ulcerans and Corinibacterium pseudotuberculosis. So, later, when we answer questions, ato nang i-differentiate. How do you differentiate the three? Because, because these three, they appear the same in your Tinsdale agar. They have brown-black colonies with brown halo. All right? Okay, ayan. Next, cell wall containing mycolic acid. Take note of this, dears, again. Uh, meaning, they are able to be stained with your acid fast staining methods. You have the mnemonics NGRT plus Corinibacterium and Dietzia. All right? So, Nocardia, Gordonia, Rhodococcus, Chucamorella. You have Corinibacterium and also Dietzia. But again, according to Selector Nadine Rodriguez, it's not really mycolic acid, but atong DAP, no, MDAP, which is similar in function and structures in one mycolic acid. Alright? So therefore, katong mga organisms outside of this, they don't have uh, mycolic acid. Sila ang dili mas stain sa inuha acid fast staining. And which of that? Uh, Asaana, your streptomyces. Okay? So take note. Hindi siya nigawa sa among words, no? Ang answer ato kay streptomyces. Alright? So take note, Corini bacterium has mycolic acid or your MDAP. Which again, uh, pwede siyang must stay partially acid fast. Alright? Take note of that. NGRT, Corinibacterium, and Dietia. Sila ang mga na ay mycolic acid. Sila ang cell wall. Alright? Okay. So therefore, kato mga wala sa NGRT, Corinibacterium, and Dietia, sila ang walay mycolic acid sa cell wall. Alright? Next, another recall sa among boards. Sa ako ajo boards, there's twice ni siya ni Gawas uh, sa pang microfara. Like, it was asked twice. Do I give the questions in this paper? So don't be shocked if mo take mo sa boards na yung mga questions na mo repeat, no? Uh, sa mga microfara and other section and other subjects. Mo repeat yun siya. As in, mag-repeat the sounding joy yun. As in, no? So, mag-repeat sa question, pwede po the whole chance po na, do I mong sayok? If sayok mo mga answer, di ba? Or pwede din mo siya, ilahay mong answer sa first question, lahay na po sa another say, sa other question pag repeat niya, no? So, kanisha, this was a question that was asked in, in my test paper, so microfara, twice, all right? And it was a case study of a patient down immunocompromised, all right? And I think sputum to siya, the specimen. And the sputum revealed gram-positive branching filamentous na pabasilay. So, dira pa lang dahan, or makating na ka, ah, okay, manaro down na ni mo. Ah, okay, so these are, this, this could be an actinomyces, okay? So, pwede no cardia, actinomyces, streptomyces, whatever, all right? Tapos, Pagbutan nga ito, um, ibutan mo ng duha ka species sa Nocardia. So, dito na ako na-show. Dito na ako na-shocks. Ah, saan nyo nilang duha? So, may gani, given ang caseine and santin hydrolysis tests. Alright? And ang question ato kay Murag, caseine negative, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, ang answer ato is Nocardia asteroides. Alright? So, take note, muna siya yung biochem. We look at the hydrolysis patterns of the species of different proteins. No? Caseine, santin, and Tyrosine. So, lantawan ni mo, kinsa yung positive sa casein and tyrosine, C. nocardia brasiliensis. So, how do I remember? How did I remember to years? I just remembered, I just memorized yun, na kung kinsa yung dual sa letter C, muna siya yung positive. So, kinsa yung mas dual sa letter C, ang A or ang B? Of course, ang letter B. So, therefore, nocardia B, <laughs> nocardia brasiliensis, mas dual man siya sa letter C, siya ang positive sa casein 
hydrolysis. Alright? So, therefore, si letter A siya ang negative. Right? So, mara siya itong ilang basihan dito siya. KCE ng U. Alright? And date note po sa tyrosine si no cardiobrasiliensis ang positive. So, majority or most of the time si brasiliensis ang positive. Alright? Pero ako to join, KCE in hydrolysis. Kung kinsay doon sa letter C, which is letter B, siya ang positive. And kinsay ng letter B, no cardiobrasiliensis. Alright? So, twice siya ni gawa sa akong uh, boards. Murag na chapter na po po ato by, by God's grace, no? Ayan. So, don't forget that. Baka lumabas sa boards niyo. Okay? Alright. Now, we go na to decarboxylase patterns. Again, isa tong triple decarboxylase positive, you have Plesiomonas shigeloides. And triple decarboxylase negative, you have Pantoea agglomerans. Alright? Pantoea agglomerans, triple decarboxylase negative. Alright? Now, kinsa man tong triple enzyme positive, you have Seresha. Alright? Seresha has three enzymes, the DNAs, gelatinase, and nalimot ko sa usang. Alright? Pero three enzymes na siya. Triple enzyme positive, Seresha. Alright? Next, characteristic delayed citrate positive reaction that is exhibited by your hapnia alvei. Alright? Hapnia alvei, you have delayed citrate positive reaction. Alright? Now, we go na to the star ng Pasko. Yes, mga kinakataputan. <laughs> Pero mga faves din. Faves na part na ko ni sa Bakte ang Enterics. No? So, usually, ang uh, um, approach, di ba, na mention ni Dean Rodriguez, iyang approach is mula nito sa TSI or like, basihan din ang TSI. But for me, hindi ko mo base sa TSI <laughs> if, if mag-answer ko case studies sa Enterics. Mato ko sa mga mga individual na mga tests. Alright? Because dito pa lang daan, pwede na akong narrow down ang organism. Alright? By using these mnemonics. Okay? Alright. So, we'll start first with VT positive. The Vogue for Scour positive. Kung sa itong limonics, Kesh. Kinsa ng Kesh? Klebsella, Enterobacter, Seresha, and Hapnia. So therefore, kung siya ang VP positive, is it also true na kanina organisms, organisms ang MR negative? Yes. Tama. Tama behavior. Indeed. Truly. Diba? Siya po ng MR negative. Why? Because the relationship between the MR and VP reactions, they are opposite. So if an organism VP positive, you are expected na siya po ay MR negative. Likewise, if MR positive siya, therefore, VP negative po siya. So, kaning cash, sila ang VP positive. So, all the organisms outside of cash, sila ang MR positive. O, diba? So, you don't have to think na, okay, cash, VP positive. So, katong mga organisms, Citrobacter, E. coli, you have, um, sa pa, your Zinia, so whatever, sila ng MR positive. Tumpa, true, yes. Ang cash, siya ang VP positive. Okay? So, opposite ha? Opposite ang relationship between MR and VP. Kung MR positive ang organism, VP negative siya. Kung VP positive ang organism, MR negative siya. So, therefore, si Kesh, siya ang VP positive. The rest of the organisms outside of Kesh, siya ang MR positive. Alright? So, I hope na get through to siya. Alright. Next, kita naman ito, yeah, kita naman ito mga H2S producers. You have spaced. Alright? So, kung sa meaning sa spaced, you have Salmonella, Proteus, you have Arizona, which is now under Salmonella, Citrobacter Pruindii, and of course, Edward Shella Tarda. So, ako na siyang GED, dira, dears, para makabaliju ka na Edward Shella na. Kaya na ano bang letter E sa mga enterics? Okay? Daming letter E. My gosh. Charat. Mga, hmm, charat. Okay, anyway. Salmonella, Proteus, Arizona, Citrobacter Pruindii, and of course, Edward Shella. Spaced. Okay? These are the H2S producers. All right. Next, isa itong mga indole positive. Medyo basto sa itong mnemonics, no? May pepe ka po or may papa ka po. Please take note, here's why letter E na ako nabutan nila. The letter E stands for Edward Shella Tarda and the other E stands for E. Cole. Alright? So, paki-insert na lang, okay? May pepe ka po, okay? That's the indole positive. Kinta na sila? Morganella, Providentia, letter E, E. Coli. Another P, you have Proteus Bulgaris. Wrong spelling, essential, alright? Another E is Edward Shella Tarda, K for Club Club Shella Oxitoca, and letter P for Lashogonas. So sila ang mga indole positive, my pepe kapo. Alright, so memorize nyo, memorize. My pepe kapo, medyo mas mo. Charat, okay. Not my kapo. Charat, check lang. Okay, next, you have the citrate positive, kung sa ito ang mnemonics, PROSHEC. Okay, PROSHEC, PRO stands for Providentia, S stands for Seresia, H for Hafnia, E for Enterobacter, C for Citrobacter, and K for Klebsiella. Proshek. Sila ang mga citrate positive organisms. And next, you have the urease positive deers. Ako pasabutan ni kay slow. 
slow urease producers, you have CTs. No, katulad siyang restaurant, di ba? Na mo open next month sa Dumaguete. Alam mo ilahang pizza, chalat. Pa di ba ang pangit ng job? Please show some support. Chalat chakala. CTs you have. Citrobacter, Klebsiella, Enterobacter, Yersinia, and Seresia. All right, CTs. All right, siging the kiss, chalat. And kato restaurant lagi chalat chakala. And the rapid urease producers, of course, you all know that. PPM. Sila po na phenyl alanine deaminase positive, PAD positive, Prochus Providentia Morganella. Sila gini mo ko yung CK. Alright? Okay, so Prochus Providentia Morganella PPM. Okay, alright. So take note dears ha, I highly, highly, highly suggest in memorizing your dears, muna siya'y nakapalampus na ako sa microfara na board exam. Kaya daghan kayong enterics na case study dito was. So mga about buying TQ. No, yun na nakadaghan. So muna siya ang nakahelp na ako. Okay, take note of this. All right, ayan sige. Mga mnemonics na to. All right. Now we go na to your decarboxylase na mga tests, no? Um, usually we use this for Cleb and Enterobacter because again, Cleb and Enterobacter they have the same invit, they have the same TSI, so medyo magliliit daw differentiate. So we look at different tests, no? So we'll start first with Cleb Numo and Cleb Oxitoca. As you can see, both of them they have the same decarboxylase tests, no? Which is lysine positive and ODC, ADH negative. So LDC meaning lysine decarboxylase, ornithine decarboxylase, RG mean dihydrolase. Alright, so low one na siya, low one. Be of absence. Hindi nga gawin ko. Tsaka, tsaka lang. Low one, no? Lysine decarboxylase, ornithine decarboxylase, and RG mean dihydrolase. Alright. Now for K-NUMO and K-Oxitoca, as you can see, both of them are LDC positive only. Negative na siya sa ODC and ADH. Alright. Now we go na to Enterobacter aerogenes. Alright, take note. Di ba, letter A siya. So, letter A siya, aerogenes, sa letter A na po siya, negative. O, di ba? So, ADH negative, the rest positive, that is Enterobacter aerogenes. Alright. Next, Enterobacter cloacae, or cloacae, letter L, na siya letter L, sa letter L na po siya, negative. Pero positive na siya sa O and A. Alright? So, L na siya negative, Enterobacter cloacae. Sa A na siya, pa, sa A na siya negative, Enterobacter aerogenes. Negative sa tanan, you have Pantoea agglomerans. Muna siya ay triple decarboxylase, negative. Kung positive tanan, triple decarboxylase positive, kinsa to, si Plasiomonas shikiloidis. Alright? So that's for the decarboxylase ng mga test tiers. Okay? Take note of that. Alright. Okay. 75, acetyl resistant, si V-colory, SXT, sulfamethoxazole, trimethoprene, tetracycline, and also chloramphenicol. 76, what are the tests that we can use to differentiate bordetella, bronchisaptica? From alkaligenous fecalis, you have urease and nitrate. So, nigawas ni sa boards, ang choice na naaka-urease, no? So, urease na itong answer. Bordetella is urease positive. Alkaligenous is urease negative. Okay, alright. So, that's for, whew, for the biochem of the organism. So, take note, there's your mnemonics is key for surviving bacteria, alright? And, also, distinguishing characteristics. Ito yung mga makapapress the buzzer sa organism ba? Like H2S positive, pero gram-positive pa silos. O, erisipedotrix, agad-agad. Alright? Optokin sensitive, vile soluble, strepnomo, agad-agad. So, mga distinguishing, mga press the buzzer ng mga characteristics. Alright. Okay. Okay, ayan. Next, 77. Kinsa daw ang third most common isolated gram-neg bacilli? It's your acinetobacter. Ang fourth most common si stenotrophomonas. So, kinsa man ang first most common, of course, the enterics. Enterobacteriazi, ang first most common isolated gram-neg bacilli. Kinsa man ang second most common gram-neg bacilli recovered, of course, it's your pseudomonas aeruginosa. So, enterics, pseudomonas aeruginosa, acinetobacter, and then, of course, stenotrophomonas maltophilia. Number 79, may resemble ni Syria SPP because again, medyo um, ma-resist ma siya decolorization. So you have acinetobacter. Alright. Non-fermentative organism that decarboxylates lysine, you have Burkholderia cetacea. So if na ay mga case study na non-fermenter, yung mong decarboxylate of lysine, then the first organism that should come to mind is Burkholderia cetacea. Alright. Ash down medium is used for Burkholderia pseudomalay. Alright. Next, you have greenish metallic sheen on back. That is your Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So, kinsa man itong greenish metallic sheen on EMB? You have? E. coli, sir. E. coli. Again, friends of us are very good. And kinsa man itong fish eye colonies in your EMB? Enterobacter. Kinsa man? Kinsa man? Enterobacter. Okay, very 
very good. Naman tanak na dinam sa kala. Very good. That is correct. Enterobacter. Very good. Okay. So again, green metallic sheen on back. Blood agar plate pa. Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So lang tawag yun itong culture media. Kung asa siya nagka green metallic sheen. Kung blood agar plate, you have pseudomonas. Pero kung EMB, E. coli. Fish eye colonies on EMB, mara siya mata sa isda, that is your enterobacter. Alright. Next, string test. Do not be confused na po yung string test sa para. But for Bacte, again, as mentioned, this is for Vibrio species. So Vibrio species siya ang positive compared to your Pleshomonas and Aeromonas. So in saturated agent, 0.5% sodium deoxycholine. Alright. Next, gram-negative bacillus, MAC-negative, hindi siya matubo sa makonki, pero penicillin susceptible, this is your pasture alam mo to siya. Because majority of your gram-negative bacillus are resistant to penicillin. Pero kung makakita na kag penicillin susceptible na gramneg bacillus, the first organism to come to mind will be Pasturella mutosica. Alright. Next, staining morphology daw kay Morag Morse code. So mga dots and dashes. That is your Actinobacillus. Your Actinobacillus species also dears um, is the one that causes granuloma infections in animals. So na-mention na ni Dean Rodriguez sa una ng mga board exam na question about that. no? So granuloma infection in animals that is your Actinobacillus. Bacillus. Alright, okay. Next, teardrop appearance, gram neck, rod, cardiobacterium hominis. No? So, munis lang ito sa ang provinciano. Charot, check it. <laughs> Carry, check it lang. Alright. Next, fusiform with one rounded end and a tapered end, capnocytopaga. And again, capnocytopaga, gliding motility. Alright. Next, for the HASTEC member, only indole positive, that is your cardiobacterium hominis. For only catalase positive, it's the aggregative bacter, actinomycetin comitans. Alright. Now, what are the tests to differentiate King Gela from Neisseria? Because King Gela can also grow in Neisseria na mga culture media. You can use catalase, positive si Neisseria, and nitrate reduction, positive si King Gela. Alright. Schools of fish, of course, nako naman. Schools of fish appearance, you have Haemophilus to create. Alright. Schools of fish, railroad tracks, no? Fingerprint appearance under gram staining, nako wag naman isip, that is your Haemophilus to create. Oroya fever, carrion disease, kasi nag-cause ani si Bartonella basiliformis. Alright. And for cat scratch disease, CSD, or mga peliosis, hepatitis, clinic peliosis, you have Bartonella NCD. Alright. Now, bacteria na similar culture requirements with Campylo bacteria, you have Suturella wadsworthiensis. Nana siya yung letter I did it here. Wadsworthiensis. Okay. H. pylori culture media, as you can see, you have Campy agar, Brucella agar, Wilkins Chalgren Agar, Skiro, and pwede po siyang MTM, Modified Tear Market. So makatubo siya sa inyong hap ni Syria na culture media. Skiro, dears, this is really for Campylobacter. Skiro, no? So, where possible po si H. pylori na magtubo din na. Alright. Okay, ha? Next, you have bacteria resembling Legionella and mutubo sila sa amoeba or mag-colonize sila sa amoeba. That is your LAPS, no? Legionella like amoeba pathogens. Alright. 0.1% fuchsin yung gamiton para makita ni siya for the Legionella species. 0.2% aqueous basic fuchsin para makita na siya for the Tella. So, kung kita na yung letter B, letter B, move for letter B for the Tella. Alright? Okay. Now, O appearance or donut shape in your gram staining, this is para focus EAE. Alright? Hindi ko ako lang sa pag-pronounce. I think EAE, EAE. Okay. EAE, no? Para focus EAE, donut shape or O appearance under gram staining. Next, branching curved rods, mura siya dog bones, bifidobacterium species. No, Nadyo ko yung funny experience ani last year sa Bacte, na ako ng mga section. No? Nag-draw ko o in ani, dog bone, pero lahim na shape. Ako ang nag-draw. Anyway, ayan, that's in the past. Charot. Anyway, basta dog bone appearance, bifidobacterium. Next, anaerobic diphtheroids. This is characteristic of propioni bacterium species. All right. Brucella, of course, it requires erythritol and increased humidity and three to four weeks of incubation. For Francisella, it requires cysteine and cysteine. Wala yung letter E ni Dears, typo na po. Cysteine, cysteine, and also thiosulfate. Basta mga ella-ella, Dears, they need cysteine. Alright? Mga ella-ella, they need cysteine. Alright? Number 104, it doesn't ferment glucose. Dry, clay-like colonies on back, that is ni Syria and Ongarka. This was a recall sa boards pa rin. And muli ang gibutang review. Does not ferment glucose and clay-like colonies in your back. And the answer is ni Syria. Grabe ang mga board of examiners. Grabe nag-iot siya. Next, for rat bite fever, this is Streptobacillus moniliformis. 
uh, plump red or red crumb colonies, spirulominus and minor. All right. Uh, for cat bite infection, pasturella multocida. For dog bite infection, your Staphylococcus intermedius and Staphylococcus hyacus. In sa mga organisms na dili mo grow sa mac, you have the Hasek organisms, the pasturella, the Francisella, the C. Criseo bacterium, meningosepticum, Neisseria and also Moraxella. So Hasek, nagkahasek ng laging charot. Chakala. Hasek, Francisella, pasturella, Criseo bacterium, meningosepticum, Neisseria and Moraxella. They do not grow on the coffee island. Next, nitrate reduction positive sa mga acid fast bacilli. Of course, ang pinakauna is MTB. But aside from that, protect with si M. Kansasii, M. Zulgai, and M. Portubito. So if nine case study tiers, ha, ang result kay niacin positive, nitrate reduction positive, the first organism na itong i-answer is MTB. Alright? MTB na lang para safe with them. Alright? Ayan. MTB. Okay? Tapos so, ang niacin, nitrate reduction positive. Alright? And if I exhibit cording, cording, C-O-R-D, C-O-R-D na effect, MTB ko na. Alright? Okay. Trick, T-R-I-C, that's uh, meaning an trachoma and inclusion conjunctivitis. This is caused by chlamydia trachomatis. Alright? So, trachoma, infection sa eye na siya. Alright? Culture media of choice for chlamydia, it's of course the McCoy cells, no? Cyclohexamide treated McCoy cells. Alright. Uh, 112, it can be transmitted both through aerosols and vectors. Kinsa na siya? Si Coxella burnettii. Coxella burnettii, positive agent again of your Q fever. Nako, alam na, alam na. Mas Q fever, press the buzzer again and guide C. burnettii. And again, let's see how this thing characteristic. Pwede siya matransmit through aerosols, pero pwede po siya matransmit through vector. Alright? Take note of that. Alright. Next, spiral shaped with hooked ends. Uh, that is your leptospira. Alright? Basta leptospira, hooked ends, uh, similar to the appearance of a question mark. Ayan. Question mark appearance. Hooked ends, spread the buzzer. That is your leptospira species. That's why one of the species of leptospira is leptospira interrogants. Kaya mo na siyang nag-question, nag-interrogate. Okay? Alright. Alright, so that's for BACTE. So for para na, okay, review na lang yun sa itong gina-discuss. So 114, impede detection of protozoa. Again, mineral oil ang nigawas. Bismuth, antibiotics, and also anti-malarial agents. Alright. Next, again, um, dyan ako ni Ano Dears na dyan. Okay, we have discussed this. Alright, take note, fixative to stool ratio, 3 is to 1. Stain of choice for the microfilarial sheath, you have Delafield Sematoxylin. Ang SG sa mong zinc sulfate, alamin na yan, basta fresh stool sample, 1.18. And kung uh, formally preserved, 1.20. Again, fresh at 18. Alright. Stain of choice for coccidia, modified acid fast. And again, stain of choice for microsporidia, you have modified trichro. Alright. Stain for quantitative buffy coat. Recall sa akong boards. Nasa iyo po. Kinalimot ko. So, do not forget there. Basta quantitative buffy coat. Kung saan na stain? Acridine orange. Take note of that. Alright. Okay. And again, Harada Mori di ay kinsa itong musaka sa taas. Si Strong Geloides Sterturalis. Strong siya. Unang kaya niyang musaka sa taas. Alright. Okay. Uh, double walled. Ayan. Double walled. Of course, akan kami ba species. Lemon shaped cyst. Shepherd's crook. Uh, fibril sa mukhang cyst, you have chylomastix nesnini. Alright. Kasi ganitong shepherd's crook foot na filarial worm sa mukhang nematodes. Na ako siya shepherd's crook na tail, you have saan to? <laughs> Your labang choices, Jess. <laughs> Wala yung choices. Sige, kinsa man to? Ang naay man na ay, na, na ay ano, <laughs> na ay shepherd's crook tail sa mga mga filarial worms. Blood nematodes. Sama to. Bilis na kalimot ha, charot. Kailan ako ito kawin ko daw. Sige, kita man to. Mansonella, sir. Mansonella, yun sa may species. Pati, mo sa itong para dyan. Ah, uh, uh, strepto, sir, ka something. Okay, very good. Take note. Shepherd's crook appearance of the tail of your filarial worm. Kakinsa na? Mansonella streptocerca. Take note. So, sa virus, kinsa man doon na ay shepherd's crook na po. See? Marsberg and katong E something. Wow, well, naninood ha? Tama. Marburg. Actually, Marburg virus gudan na ay shepherd's crook appearance. So, take note ka ng mga shepherd's crook, shepherd's crook ha? Basta shepherd's crook sa protozoa, kylomastix mesnidi. 
kung sa nematodes, mga worms, filarial worm, Manzonella streptocerca. And for virus, you have Marburg virus. Okay, take note of that. All right. Sige. Next, you have your um, strain test, of course, for Georgia. Dai antamiba fragilis, take note, makihit siya o mga uva, you have enterobius and ascaris. Gold standard pa rin Japan for malaria, thick and thin uh, smears. Optimal assay, LDH, which is common in all species. Malakwik is specific for T. falciparum, and say detect histidine rich protein. Malarial vaccine, Moschirix, which is murag. Gigamit na karun sa Africa, no? So, hopefully good ang mga effects, yes. Stain of choice for P. Rivetsii, Grocot Metanamine. Specimen of choice is Bronchio Alveolar Lavage. Sa Feldman Dye Test, of course, Toxoplasma Gondii. And Holy 3, of course, nagasgas, nagasgas na, you have Hat, Hookworm, Ascaris, and Trichuris. Heart to lung migration, Ash, Ascaris, Strongy, Hookworm. Alright. Cutaneous larva migrants or creeping eruptions in sa nagkosta na the animal hookworm. Ancelostoma brasiliense, Ancelostoma canino. Visceral larva migrants in sa nagkos, Toxocara species. Diba ito ni Monix? Si Vice kaga, visceral na siya kanta na boom karakaraka. So, kung ito ito. So, Toxocara, boom karakaraka, it's caused by, or it causes Vice, visceral uh, visceral ganda, visceral larva <laughs> migrants. Alright, okay. Next, you have endosymbiote of filarial worms, your wall bacteria. Take note of that, diba? This is a bacteria na makatabang o proliferate or mature sa mga filarial worms. Barber's pole appearance, yes, this is angiostrongulus. Angiostrongulus cantonensis. Alright? Then, T. spiralis adults, asa makitan, small intestine. T. spiralis larva, asa makitan, sa muhang muscles. Okay, alright. Now, um, what is a schistosome mule? Again, that is a recall question. No? What is a schistosome mule? It's a cercaria minus the tail. Alright? Chinese liver fluke. It's a Chinese liver fluke. Clonorchis sinensis. Nigawa sa akong boards, Japan. Recall ni siya. Alright. Okay. Ah, okay. Smallest but deadliest fluke, of course, the heterophys species. Um, Alveolar hydrated disease nears caused by kinococcus multilocularis, the deadliest among all. Uh, helmet infection. Alright, okay. And of course, ato mga laos dira, head laos, uh, crab laos, rice medium, kisa to na fungi, microsporum canis, di ba? Canis, canin, di ba? Canis, canin, so siya ang sa canin, rice medium. Large, multi-cell, club-shaped, uh, smooth walled na macroconidia, epidermophyton, locoso. Alright, maybe mistaken for Leishmania, histoplasma, capsulato. Alright, okay. Culture media for aspergillus, you have Japex. Blastomyces, you have cotton seed media. All right, okay. Again, for virus, ayan. this one, dear, is 189. This is a recall for some boards. Uh, I think they got you some micro, so na show ko na, oh my God, what is this? Or I think sa HEMA or ISB, which I was. So, what is a specimen of choice for EBV, PCR amplification? Basta ganin mga nucleic acid testing, the best sample is at the EDTA blood. So, 5 ml at the Old blood ang na to sa choice, alright? And CSF ang possible other specimens. So, nasa yung kwa niyo. I think ako i-answer kay CEO. <laughs> Pasensya naman. Alright. Next, 190, of course, grading sa fifth seed years. Nako, since second year pa mo ako na na-introduce na eh. So, take note ha. 2 plus apple green, 3 plus bright, 4 plus brilliant apple green. Alright. Next, you have uh, CPE, no? Your certified public exams and charot chagalan. CPE, your cytopathologic effects. Alright, so these are effects brought about by the virus once mo infect as a cell. And pwede mo siya i-quantitate, mo siya ang table. Alright, so kung 50 to 75% ang monolayer or ang mga cells ang na high CPE, that is 3 plus. Alright, okay. Next, of course, different viruses, dears, ayan, nigawas niya sa boards, i-describe rin ni, mo yung gihatag. The answer is coronaviruses, no? Um, filamentos, basta ang work kay filamentos, that is the filo viruses, filo viridae. Progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, this is the JC virus, the John Cunningham virus. 185, this is the number one question sa akong board exam, sa microfara. Which of the following is not an arbovirus? Ang choices kay Zika, Chikungunya, Dengue, and RSV, di ito. Abi ang CMP. Remember itong CMP. Pero ang answer ato is, of course, not an arbovirus, that is your RSV. When you say arbo, it means arthropod 
born. R, born. R, so called born virus. Meaning, ma transmit siya through vectors. So, your RSV, dili siya ma transmit through vectors, but mga secretory, respiratory secretions. Alright. Respiratory orphan, that is the meaning of RIO, R -E -O, respiratory enteric orphan. Uh, echo virus, enteric cytopathic human orphan. Okay? So, ano siyang itawag na orphan? Because these viruses were first isolated without uh, determining kung unsa siya na disease ang iyang ginakos. Okay? So, muna orphan siya. Okay? Na, nauna na discover ang disease, uh, na, nauna na discover ang virus kaysa sa disease. Okay? Alright. Next, Shepherd's Crook. Ayan, na mention na Marburg virus. Uh, CMV isolation is best accomplished using human embryonic fibroblasts. Alright. And can it dares recall the sa boards na ko gikan sa HAR, flexible calcium alginate, nasopharyngeal swab, para kakinsa na siya, corine bacterium diphtheriae. If walay corine bacterium, ang say answer, poor detella pertussis. Alright. According to Bailey, most common STD is the HPV, human papilloma virus. And 202, a recall sa boards, gya po na ko, uh, incubator siya. It's not found in the book, you dears. It's found online. Online article, my God. Okay. Um, point lang is homogeneous atmosphere. This is the smart incubator. All right. And summary of your odors. Take note sa mga bacteria. Bleach-like odor. Echinella corridens. Uh, you also have fish-like odor. Of course, Gardnerella vaginalis. You have also katong fruity or apple na odor. You have alkaligenous fecalis. So, we summarize ni siya All right. Okay. And of course, the common names for para parasites, again, I have emphasized na this uh, since nag-start ng parasitology years, memorize yun ha, or familiarize yun. Kaya usik ang one point. Dapat dire-direksyo na kung pangutanan mo, what is the common name of your uh, capillaria or pudok worm is kapin sa manina na. Alright? Dapat press the buzzer agad-agad. Alright? Okay, so take note. Usik ang one point. Alright. And that's the end of your main, main na to na reinforcement lecture. Alright? So for the, for the next, what we're going to do is atong answer to inyong mga quiz, alright? Some questions lang from the quiz, alright? Uh, both gahapon and karun, alright? Sige. Kamusta man, dears? <laughs> what do you think? Ready na ba for tomorrow? <laughs> no. <laughs> Pero so far naman, kamusta man atong reinforcement? Medyo naaray na remember or na review na ba mo sa inyong mga na learn or ato mga mnemonics kamusta man Kerina <laughs> Medyo wala jap ko wala jap ko confidence to answer tomorrow dili lang kaya ra na okay may wait lang dear sa ako sa inyo Ay okay all right sige lang mauman na tomorrow and then wala na next na put kay CM the last conference for this year so hapit na hapit na gamay na lang dia Okay all right sige Okay. So for the quiz, Alright. So we'll start first with the part one. This is the quiz number one. Alright. So first question. A spherical graph positive foxi, catalase positive, and able to produce acid anaerobically. Kinsa sa may answer, Ani. Asa daw siya na genius? Micrococcus. Micrococcus. C? Micro? Micrococcus. Tama ba? Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. Okay, very good. That is correct. The correct answer is micrococos. So again, catalyst positive, non-motile, anaerobic. Dili niya kayang magamit sa glucose na walay oxygen. Of course, that is micrococos. And hence, again, this is from uh, our handout sa practice sa una, when, sa third year. Take note again, your micrococos is oxidative. It's oxidase positive and susceptible to basitrase. Take note, oxidative siya. Meaning, kailangan niyang gamito ng glucose in the presence of oxygen. Alright? Very good. Number one. Correct. Tama. Number two. Ayan. The question was, you read, gikan sa 18-year-old female, nitubo ang catalase positive, coagulase negative, na gram-positive coxite. What is the next best test to identify the organism. So, kani palang daan, based sa uh, given, green siya. Lugo ba yun? negative. Alright? And catalase positive. So, kinsa man ang organism ang musulod sa inyong mind. See? Saprophyticus. Epidermidus and saprophyticus. Apilococcus. Saprophyticus. So, what is the next step for identification for S. saprophyticus? Your? Novobiosine. Novobiosine. 
novo biosyn susceptibility. All right. Kaya yung sa mga expected results sa novo biosyn susceptibility. Resistance saprophyticus. Resistance saprophyticus. Don't forget that. Resistance saprophyticus. Okay, very good. Abi na ubliso na kaya naman lagi. Okay, again, ato ang uh, flow chart. Kung sa novo biosyn susceptibility, resistance saprophyticus. Kung susceptible, the rest. Pwede mo siyang isubject to another susceptibility test, the polymycin B. And if kung resistant siya, that is staph epidermidis. But take note, no, biosin view, that is for staph saprophyticus. Basta sa question pa lang dahan, dears, what if gibutang na sexually active female, nagka-UTI, nako, wag na mag -isip. That is really staph saprophyticus. Number three, ayan. Kung ang tube coagulase, it detects staphylo coagulase, ang slide coagulase, kung saan yung detect. Yes, nahilo man lagi. Clumping. 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 Tama. Pero, ang clumping factor ba? Naba siya other name or wala? Cellbound? Cellbound. Cellbound, sir. Cellbound? Tama ba? Yes, that is correct. No? Clumping factor, cellbound. Sir, lahi sa quiz ni Gawas, sir. Sir, so clumping or ang mag-i-answer? Clumping or ang na-answer niya. Ang na-anga uban, sir, is enhanced hemolysis ang usa. Nasayang na kayo si Ma'am Kiana. Sige lang, I'll just look into it, ha? Kasi nasayang pag-input. Alright, salamat si Isis. So take note lang, dears, that your slight coagulase is again, your slight coagulase detects clumping factor or iya ang other name kay bound coagulase or cell bound coagulate. Take note. Alright? Wait lang, dear Sandra, ka lang. Okay. Emergency. Wait. All right, pasensya, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, so how do we remember? No, kinsa man ang slide, unsa may detect sa slide coagulation, sa detect sa tube coagulase. So atong mnemonic, SB, TF, Starbucks, tayo, Ren, or Starbucks tapos, F, charot, <laughs> Okay, Starbucks uh, tapos F, or Starbucks tayo, Ren. So SB, slide coagulase detects, Bound coagulase or your clumping factor, and your tube coagulase, it detects letter F. Free coagulase or staphylo coagulase. Take note of that. SBTF, Starbucks tayo friend, or Starbucks tapos F. Ayan. Gusto nyo yan. Charot. Chaka lang. Alright. So take note of that. Sige. Ako pong ulang taon balik ang quiz. Sige. Thank you for that. Sige. Alright. Next question. Very good. Two of the choices. Number four. Ayan. Si Darlene. Pasensya Darlene. Nagamit ka dito. Alright. So, ang question, ni positive siya sa D-test na i-blunting, na i-flattening, no? Of the clindamycin zone. And again, kung ina niya ang result, how should we report the result? So, ganito, dapat? Resistant sa boat, sir. Bakit kagal eh? Charot, okay. Resistant sa boat. Very good. Clindamycin, erythromycin, resistant. Alright. Very good. Okay. Next, you have here, ayan, case study na. Okay, sige. So, ato niya siyang hinahinayan, no? Alright. So, na daw 20-year-old female, ayan, nag, ato sa ER kay, sakit ang ihi. Sakit ang ihi. Urination. Pag-culture sa urine, nakakita sila og non-hemolytic 
catalyst negative. O sige, kana pa lang daan. Ato na lang ng choices kung nabay matangtang. Non-hemolytic. Nabay mga non-hemolytic. Nabay pwede tang matangtang ani because they are not non-hemolytic or hemolytic sila. Kung sa may pwede matangtang. Kung non-hemolytic. Cryogenous and agalactic. Agalactic. Very good. That's correct. So, ang strep payo, strep agalaki, tang-tang na. Because both of them are beta. Beta. Hemolytic. So, A and D na lang mabilin. Therefore, kung saan may next na itong lantawon, ang 6.5% salt growth. Because this is really characteristic of this organism. And kinsa ganito makatolerate sa 6.5% salt growth, your enterococcus. 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 Fatalis. Very good. And that is the correct answer. So that's how you view case studies, dear staff. Natawag yun, basin sa sugod pa lang sa question na nakipwedeng ma-eliminate sa choice. Alright? And if wala mang gani, at yun na ka sa biochem. And then look at the distinct na mga characteristics. Alright? So parehas ani, 6.5% NACL. Positive growth. Nakatolerate siya sa inanakataas na asin. Sa salt, no? So that is characteristic of enterococcus fecalis. Alright, very good. Pinahubig yung soon. Nagkatawa na kinaka-answer. Charat. Next, ethyl hydrocuperine, hydrochloride. Again, kinsa ni siya. This is your? Toxopin. Pneumonia. Your taxopi. And again, para kinsa ni taxopi, it's for? Pneumonia. Okay. Streptococcus pneumonia. Wala nang energy siya. Pagod na pagod na. Pasensya na dear. Sige. Habit na makuman. Alright. Next, which of the following is not consistent with streptococcus pneumonia in terms of their characteristic? Sige. So may answer, Annie. So, may dili consistent sa strep nung mo, Ana, na characteristic. Alpha hemolysis on CA. Okay, alpha hemolysis on CA. And, Maura ba? Positive catalase test. Maura? Two of the choices. Okay, very good. That is the correct answer. Two of the choices. Take note, although it is alpha hemolytic, take note na alpha hemolytic siya sa back. Dili sa chocolate agar. Okay, your CA, we don't see hemolytic pattern sa CA. Alright. And of course, another important characteristic niya is um, negative niya ang catalase test. It's not catalase positive. Alright? Very good. So, two of the, choice, two, uh, two of the choices. Uh, read the question and the choices carefully, good dears. Alright? Read good carefully. Masyada ang tanip pen and paper good kayo para makasulat mo sa test paper kita. Para mura, pwede niyo ma-incircola ng word, ma-ano yes. niyo siya, mas nice yung siya. Good, promise. Or sige lang, because of the other level of fun. Ah, I got that. Kalakar. Anyway, sige lang, sige lang. Alright, kaya nyo yan. Kaya, kaya. Takayanin. Alright. Okay. Number eight. Alright. Which of the following organisms is able to hydrolyze sodium hyporate? Alright. So, kinsa man, Ani? Ako na siyang ibig sa lahat. Agalakti. Agalakti. Tap to focus, agalakti. So, it's just describing the hyporate hydrolysis test. So, take note, dears. Pag gram-positive oxide na hyporate hydrolysis positive, kakinsan ni na organism, strep agalaki. Pero, na po'y gram-negative organism na distinct Campylobacter jejunum. Hyporate hydrolysis, yes. Thank you. Kinsan to? Ah, no, madali ha? Your... Play. Okay, okay, very good. That is Campylobacter jejunum. Gram-neg bacilli na very, very distinct ang hyporate hydrolysis uh, test is your Campylobacter very good. Okay, don't forget that. Now, again, ako nang i-summarize. Nakunin sa akong handout. No? Uh, Bass situation susceptible is for group A strep. PYR positive, group A strep and enterococcus. Keeperate camp positive is for strep, agalak P, or group B strep. Bile esculin positive, the group B uh, strep and enterococcus. Uh, group D, group D. 6.5% NACL, ayan, very, very distinct for enterococcus. Optokin sensitive, bile soluble, your strep pneumonia, and of course, lap positive or leucine amino peptidase positive, your streptococcus, enterococcus, and pediococcus. Alright, very good. Take note of that here. So, nakasummarize na siya. Ako po nang upload after our class sa inyo ang soul sections para makastudy. Okay? Alright, sige. Next, ayan, number nine. All of the following are appropriate when attempting to isolate Neisseria from a genital specimen except in sa may dili, chak to ani, your B. B. Oxygen at 37. Uh, very good. Letter B. Because take note that your N. gonorrhea is a cap, cap profile. Cap. No? Ganaan siya? Carbon dioxide. 
recap no file siya. Very good. Okay, that's correct. Letter B. The rest, chuck to na. Your genital swab, again, should be transported in charcoal because toxic ang, char, uh, toxic ang cotton swab, di ba? To your, the fatty acids to your nasiria. It's naman itong toxic sa wood. Wooden siya. Virus. Virus. Is that? Virus. It's naman itong toxic sa wood. See? Biogenes? It's naman. Toxic siya sa wooden shop ng mga swabs. See? It's naman. Chlamydia. Yan. Very good. Chlamydia. Chlamydia is toxic or uh, mamatay siya sa wood. Alright? And calcium alginate. Again, calcium alginate swabs are toxic to your viruses. Alright? And maka-interfere po siya with PCR. Okay? Take note of that. Mga composition sa swab. Basta cotton, fatty acids, nasiria. Kung wood, chlamydia. And for calcium alginate, you have viruses and PCR. Alright, take note of that. Okay, yeah. next you have number 10. Ayan. So, ang point lang is how will you confirm na ang imuhang na-isolate na gram-neg diplococci is nasira gonorrhea? Kung sa dapat ang result na biochem, what's the answer? You have carbohydrate, glucose positive only. Glucose positive and what's the letter? Uh, 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 oxidase. Let letter? Letter A. Okay. Letter a. Take note, again, later sa itong summary after Ani, your nasir gonori, nasa pangalan na, letter G, ang iyahang ginaferment ng kai, letter G ragyod, glucose. Alright? The rest of the sugars, di na niya i-ferment. Letter G ragyod, glucose. Alright? Gonori, letter G, ferments only, letter G, glucose. Alright? And take note that most of your nasir species are oxidase positive. Naray ubang mga exceptions. Okay? Alright. Very good. Okay. Next, ayan. Ako, hmm? <laughs> ayan, ano naman? Case study. So, gram-neg diplococci, nakuha daw siya. Alright. So, gram-neg diplococci, ilang tao niyo mo? Hala, pareha sila. Tanan sila, gram-neg diplococci. Shocks. Alright. So, next atong lang tao, super oxol negative. Super oxol negative. Pag lang pa niyo mo, ana, na na ba kayo matangtang? Yes, na na kayo matangtang. The Neisseria gonorrhea. Because remember that Neisseria gonorrhea is super oxol positive. Okay? So, super oxol positive man si Neisseria gonorrhea, tam-tam na siya. So, asa na ta, kung sa isunod na itong natawon, ang sugar fermentation na. Now, let's take note, glucose, maltose, and lactose iyahang na ferment. So, therefore, nasa pangalan na niya, kinsa din na organisa, ni lactamica. Lactamica. Miss Nuria, lactamica. Alright? Nasa pangalan na, lactose positive, it also ferments glucose and maltose. Alright? Your carbohydrate utilization test, dears, for gram necoxide, is really one of the definitive tests good for the Neisseria species because uh, carbohydrate fermentation pa lang daan, makabalo na ka kung kinsa na organism. Okay? Alright. Next, ayan, culture, nako, from a middle ear aspirate. Nako, so makatinda ka na. Hala, so gika sa middle ear. So, nga nung di-aspirate yung middle ear? Possible na na ay infection or inflammation sa middle ear. Ano sa may tawag ano na to? Sa middle ear infection? Otitis media. Kung sa may mga organisms na makakause ana, you have strep pneumo, the most common, haemophilus influenzae, second, and the third is moraxella. Kung yun sa may gram negative no focus, sa tulo na ako na mention, it's only moraxella. But aside from that, let's go sa iya ang biochem. The carbohydrate degradation tests were inert. When you say inert, wala siya ni gamit o sugar. Alright? Pero, Positive siya for DNAs and butyrate esterase. These are all characteristic of Moraxella catarhalis. Take note, your Moraxella catarhalis beers is a saccharolytic. Dili siya mo gamit ng sugar. Dili siya kailangan ng sugar na D. <laughs> Sana all. Charat. Okay. And aside from that, positive siya of DNAs. Alright? Ayan. So, ayan. Summarize. Japan. Take note, the end gonorrhea is always shaggy ng super oxal positive. For carbohydrate utilization, take note, and gonorrhea ferments letter G. And gonorrhea, letter G, ferments letter G only, glucose. Meningitis, you have M and G, yang ferment po kay M and G, maltose and glucose. And for N, lactamica, glucose, maltose, and lactose. Nasa pangalan na, lactamica, lactose. For N, catarhalis, again, asacarolytic, hindi siya magamit ng sugar, pero... Positive siya for the enzymes, DNAs, butyrate esterase, and of course, nitrate reduction or reductase na enzyme. Alright? So, DNA is positive, butyrate esterase positive. That's M. Catarhans. Alright? Take note of that. Okay. 
that's for your summary of the gram necoxide. Among the groups of bacteria, nice to bring gram necoxide na ansiran, especially sa mga biochem. Kaya medyo carry lang yan ang results. Magbase na ka sa carbohydrate, carry na. Alright, okay. Next, you have which statement correctly describes the mode of action sa antibiotics listed for MPM? Ito yung answer? Nestatin against fungi and mounts. Very good. Letter B. Nestatin inhibits your fungi and your molds. Take note that colistin is for gram-neck for gram-neck bacteria. Trimethoprim is for the swarming of proteus. And vancomycin, as we have mentioned, is always for gram-positive. Okay? Now, a summary of the composition of the different um, culture media sa imuhang sa ni? Uh, imuhang ni Syria. Wait, ako sa'yo right here. Sa. Okay, ako i-share na mnemonics ulit. You have BC and B. And then Martin Lewis. Take note, Taylor Martin, dila ka mag-start, no? Ang sunod lang niya kay tulog ka antibiotics. Vancomycin, polystin, and estatin. Next, for modified Taylor Martin, di-modify siya, di-addend siya o additional na trimethoprin, VCNT na siya. Pag-abot sa imuhang Martin Lewis, na himo na siya, an isomycin. Ang imuhang estatin, i-change niya to AN. So that's why it's called VCAT, AN. So vancomycin, polystin, AN, and isomycin and letter T trimethoprim. NYC, ma-change siya, may mo siyang B-CAMP, AMP na. Vancomycin, colistin, amphotericin B, and trimethoprim. Alright? And for GC-LEC, ni Adana siya, glincomycin. Alright? Now, one of the ways ko to remember NYC, New York City. Diba? New York City, daghang buildings. Daghang dagko na buildings. So, daghan siyang letter B. So, siya ang na ay amphotericin B. So, ako na rin B, daming building sa New York City. So, New York City agar na siya ay amphotericin B. Okay, take note of that. May mga question pa rin na asking about composition of the uh, Nasiria agar. Alright? Okay, very good. Ayan, so that was the first quiz. Okay naman, di ba? Sabi niyo mahirap. Gary naman di ay, di kaya mga nakatubag. Okay? Alright. Now, we go on to the second part of your quiz, which is katong kanina. Alright, sige. Number one, H2S, produced by bacteria. You say, how characteristic color? Black. 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 Okay, black. Tama ba? Nan. Nan. Nan o mang nan? Colorless. Okay, dapat na-apply like chemical para ma-black siya. Wow. Okay, so what's my final answer? Black or none of the choices? None of the choices. Final answer na, ang none of the choices. Final answer. Like, what if boards na kao? Mano yung answer? Yes. <laughs> Alright. That is very much correct. None of the choices. Take note that H2S is a gas. Alright? H2S produced by bacteria is colorless. No, it is a gas. Pero for us to um, note, or for us to see na nag-produce na, ato siyang ibutang o culture media, na na-i reagents na mo react sa H2S. And that is in your SIM medium, sulfide production. Your SIM medium contains sodium thiosulfate, and this is the source of H2S for your bacteria. Now, pag-produce ng H2S, which is colorless, for us to see na ni-produce siya colorless, mo react siya with the ferric ammonium citrate of your media to produce the precipitate ferrous sulfide. And this precipitate color black, mo niya siya ito makita sa ito ang media. And this will signify na, okay, H2S producer ning bacteria na kanin, na itong i-examine. Because again, of this black precipitate. But this black precipitate is not H2S. It's the precipitate formed from the reaction of the H2S produced by the bacteria and ferric ammonium citrate found in the medium. Alright? So, kanin siya, ang black na precipitate is just for uh, letting us know na na siya H2S production. Alright? But H2S per se, in itself, wala gusto yung color. Because it's a gas, alright? Colorless gas. Very good. So, yes. Take note of that, ha? Baka ma-uwat mo so. Okay, alright. Ayan. Next, 24. Ayan. Neonatal meningitis. I think, Mark, sa'yo po ng answer, Anik, sa quiz. Ako nag-iinan si Mami. Neonatal meningitis, MME. Ang question lang kay what 
or which of the following can you differentiate or can be used to differentiate strep agalacti from listeria monocytogenes? Ang ato answer is your, what's in the letter? Letter C. Uh, letter C. C. smear, catalase, and of course, mortality. We have discussed that already. All right. Next, ayan, ako, case study. Ayan. Finger wound specimen from a meat packer. Ayan, ako. Kaya pa siya dahan, dears. It's an occupational hazard. Meaning, gikan siya, uh, nag- Butcher siya, butcher, na samad, alright? Pag culture, ni grow o gram positive pa sila, alright? Pero kung lang ang kabalo na, pwede dahil na siya, sige, ito ka sa bagyo kem. Motility, iyahang SIM daw na itest to brush growth, and there is blackening in media with ferric ammonium citrate, which is your SIM medium. So, kinsa man ni, gram positive pa sila, na H2S producer, this is your? D. Letter. D, sir. Erisopelothrix. Erisopelothrix. Letter D. Erisopelothrix. Rujopadi. Alright? Take note of that. Ako nang i- ano, yung paganda na ko ng H2S producer, blackening in media. Alright? <laughs> Para po tayo challenge gamay. Blackening in media with ferric ammonium citrate. It just tells you na H2S producer siya. Nya gram positive ba sila pag yun? So as I mentioned, basta inaanagan ni ang presentation si mga results, then press the buzzer that is Erisopelothrix. Aside from that, as I've mentioned, dears, it's an occupational hazard because usually ang ma affected kita to mga tig work, mga tig butcher, no? If masama nila hang kamot, no? From fish, from pork, inana. So that's a rise in value tricks. Rujo pali. Pero kung lang kabalo atong situation, ato ka sa bayo kaya, no? Blackening H2S producer, test tube brush appearance in your SIL, and of course, gram positive pa sila, then that's a rise in value tricks. Rujo pali. Again, summary of your uh, gram positive pati line. Ayan, of course. As you can see, H2S, siya nagyod. Erisi panotrix, Rujo Pati. Siya nagyod. Alright? And compared to the other species. Of course, Listeria, catalase positive. Motil. Alright? Tumbling motility. Alright? Uh, very distinct for Listeria monocytogenes. Alright? Next. Ayan. Case study ulit. So, there's a patient. Okay? Nagtatambal siya. Okay? Medyo nag-iso na siya ginawa. Alright? Paglantaw sa doctor na siya large pseudomembrane. So, dira pa lang daan, makatig na ka na. Okay, large pseudomembrane. Kinsa nga ito makaproduce, Anna? Ah, okay. Coriny bacterium. But then, yung mong natawa na ay daghang coriny bacterium na species there. Alright? So, we have to look at other test results. Alright. Next, it showed also ng gram stain uh, positive, gram positive bacilli appearing like Chinese letters. So, mas na-confirm yun na coriny bacterium yung mong hang possible na answer. Now, we go now to the different biochem. We'll start first with CTBA, your telluride blood agar. All right. Now, telluride blood agar, now there's a brown halo. Now, kinsa ganyan itong coriny bacterium species na mo produce o brown halo sa telluride blood agar, you have C. diphtheriae. But, remember that C. diphtheriae na siya parehas o colonies. You have C. ulcerans and C. pseudotuberculosis. Now, patay. Na narrow down na to two choices yung mohang ay mo hang possible yung answer, pero both of them pag yun na ka. So how do we differentiate? We look at the urease. Because take note that your C. diphtheriate is always urease negative. And your C. ulcerans and C. pseudotuberculosis is urease positive. So therefore, kung sa itong answer sa number 4, coriny bacterium ulcerans. Take note, urease positive juteers and coriny bacterium gani ang pinag-uusapan. Basta urease positive, it's not coriny bacterium diphtheriae. So here's the summary of results. Your C. diphtheriae, ulcerans, and pseudotuberculosis na halo sa CTBA. But take note, sa urease, negative na si diphtheriae, positive si ulcerans and pseudotuberculosis. And if you want to differentiate ulcerans and pseudotuberculosis, you look at the gelatin hydrolysis. Positive si ulcerans, negative si pseudotuberculosis. Pero good thing, wala yung pseudotuberculosis sa choices. So, C. ulcerans. Basta ang key takeaway, key takeaway to remember, <clears throat> urease negative si coriny bacterium diphtheriae. Please take note. Alright? Okay. So, that's for the coriny bacterium uh, na case study. Alright. Next, you have here, case study ulit, uh, gram-negative rods, pulmonary secretions of a cystic fibrosis patient na po. Dala pala. Six cystic fibrosis. No? So, pwede naman narrow down to pseudomonas or Burkholderia cepacea. Alright, now we go na to your characteristic biochem. Nako, press the buzzer na. Na-pigment producing, no? Blue-green. Mugro pag-40 degrees Celsius. 
flagella polar mona, monotrichos, motile, glucose OF, all right? Open, open shoot, meaning oxidative siya, positive. So therefore, kakit sa manina na mga characteristics, kay? Okay? Pseudomonas. 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 Wala nang iba. Very good. Basta ganun yung mga pigment-pigmented adheres. Alam na na. Alam na this. Okay? Ayan. Alright. Now for the summary of results for the pseudomonas species and the rest, as you can see, the P. aeruginosa can be well differentiated from the rest if ipag-growni mo siya at 4 to 2 degrees Celsius and for nitrate reduction positive food. Alright? Kanyang yung growth at 4 to 2 degrees Celsius, muna siya yung mo-differentiate sa aeruginosa from the rest of the fluorescent uh, pseudomonas species. Alright? So, ang growth at 42 degrees Celsius, pseudomonas aeruginosa. Take note of that. Alright. Now, for the different Burkholderia cetacea, as you can see, uh, growth at 42 si pseudomalay lang. Alright? And different species, malay, it causes glanders disease. Ang pseudomalay kay melioidosis, your glanders like disease. Alright? And for the rest of the non-fermenters, your acinetobacter, baumaniae, again, you have growth at 42 Japon. Stenotrochomonas, you have DNA positive, all right? Alkaligenous fecalis motil, all right? Um, you have Shiwanella putrefacients, it's H2S positive. Sa mga non-fermenters na H2S positive, that is your Shiwanella putrefacients. Now take note, Stenotrochomonas maltophilia, nasa pangalan na, oxidizer of maltose and ammonia-like odor. Ammonia-like, all right? Pero kung ang question kay ammonium cyanide odor, that is Chromobacterium violaceum. Nasa pangalan na rin ni Chromobacterium violaceum na siya ay violet pigment, violacea. And your alkaligenous fecalis, again, fruity odor resembling apples or strawberries. Now for DNA steers, mnemonics, wala ko nilang mention so bad. SMSS, you have S4 use, Moraxella catarhalis, and uh, you have Stenotrophomonas maltophilia, and Seracia marcescens. Right, take note. SMSS, your DNA is positive organisms. S aureus, right? S aureus, Moraxella catarhalis. You have also Stenotrophomonas maltophilia, and you have Seracia marcescens. My DNA is positive organisms. Take note, ha? SMSS, okay? SMSS, all right. The DNA is positive organisms. All right. Next, you have Brucella. Ayan. Brucella isolate. Dili mo produce of H2S. Dili po kailangan of CO2. Wala po siya na-inhibit sa thionine or basic fuchsin. So, akin sa man. Kid sa man yung Brucella. Brucella. Brucella militensis. Alright. Very good. Brucella. Uh, sorry. Brucella militensis. Alright. So, again, summary. Summary. How do we remember? Ayan. Brucella abortus. Siya ang kailangan of CO2 and H2S. Alright. Take note. CO2, H2S, kailangan or take produce of H2S. Brucella abortus. And in terms of growth in the presence of thionine and basic fuchsin, it is inhibited by thionine. So how do we remember? Abor thio. Okay? Rusala abortus, abor thio. It's inhibited by thionine. Pero mag-grow na siya in the presence of basic fuchsin. Si many tenses siya ginawa like care so well. Hindi siya kailangan ng CO2, hindi siya produce of H2S, pero mag-grow na siya in the presence of thionine and basic fuchsin. Many tenses. Your suwis and canis, same, same sila result. Mag-grow sila in the presence of thionine, pero hindi sila mag-grow sa uh, basic fuchsin. Basta take note, abort tayo. Abortos is inhibited by thionine. Okay? Alright, take note of that. Alright, okay. Next, Haemophilus species. Gramne coco bacillus. Ayan, from a CSF of a two-year-old patient. Take note, ayan, sige. So, of course, atong natawang diretso is the X and P factor requirement. Alright? Basta mga hemophilus, hemophilus, good years, mga distinct characteristic niya, ato dyan ka sa X and V factor requirement. So, ang given, positive sa duha, X and V. So, kinsa man yung, kinsa man yung mga species diri na kailangan yun ang both X and V. Influenza. Influenza. Uh, hemophilus, influenza. Wala nang iba. Alright. So, summary ulit, table. Ayan. So, how do we remember muna? X and V factor. So, first, kinsa itong mga kailangan Kinsa na itong kailangan ng X-factor? Si H. Ducrine. Siya rag yun ang kailangan ng X-factor. So how do we remember? If magka-X na ka, if daghan na kang X, or if nana kay X, di ba? Mu-cry ka. Magsikag cry. So H. Ducrine. So si H. Ducrine, siya rag kailangan ng X-factor. Next, kinsa na itong kailangan ng V-factor? Tanang na ay para sa ilahang species. So para influenzae, para hemolyticos, and para afro 
kay Muliticus and si Pit Manny. Pero most of the time, mga para yun. Ito mga para, 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 sila ra ang, nai- ang kailangan nila kay V-factor. Hindi na sila kay- kailangan ng X. V-factor na. So, ganun po. Ani kayo sila ng X. Charot. Okay. Next, isa tong dili ganahan or dili kailangan ng any X and V-factor, you have the aggregate factor Acropolis. Alright? Okay. And the rest of the species, sila nang kailangan ng X and V. We have an influenza, a molyticus, and a gyptus. Alright? So again, X factor ra ang kailangan to create. Okay, maghila ka. If na kay X, mag-dry ka, mag-dry. Alright. Next, isa itong kailangan ra ng V factor, tanang species na ay para sa ihangalan sa species. Alright? And isa itong dili kailangan din ng any X and V factor, aggregate factor, Acropolis. And the rest, kailangan na sila both X and V factor. Alright? Now, for beta hemolysis, take note kinsa na itong positive, kato mga na ay hemolyticos sa ilangalan. Hemolyticos, para hemolyticos, para acrohemolyticos. Alright? And for the porphyrin test, kinsa yung positive, kato na pong kailangan ng V factor. So, tanang na ay para sa ilahang species na name, maoy positive sa porphyrin. Because your porphyrin test detects the ability of the organism to produce that, to produce his own X factor. So, kanyang mga para, 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 they can produce their own X factor. That's why, positive sila sa porphyrin test. Okay? So, take note of that, ha? Very important. But in the recent board exam, January 2021, na case study, pero ang nigawas kay ang ilahang sugar fermentation. <laughs> so, pag chika sa akong kailan na ako, pangrag, ha? Grabe ha sa board exam, and you're, uy, murag, di lima tala, ginaperform, routine B, usually X and B, mang good. So, in a way, so, if magawas ang imuhang sugar fermentation beers, Basta mo gawas ang glucose and silos na positive, that is H influenza. But wala kay sure, di ka sure kung H influenza man na or other species, i H influenza na lang. Let us be safe, okay? Answer lang dahil ng H influenza. Alright? So that's for hemophilus species. Alright, okay. Next, ayan, number eight. Which of the following is incorrect for Clostridium perfringens? What's the answer? Incorrect. Motil. Right. Motil. Very good. Letter B. Motil. Because again, take note, summary, your C perfringens shara ang non-motil sa tanang species sa prostridio. It's only the only, it's also the only positive sa lecithinase. Alright? And siya po'y positive sa lactose fermentation and for C botulinum, siya rang positive sa lipids. Alright? Take note of that. Alright. Okay, sige. Next, number nine, ayan, S-shaped organism. Alright? And then, uh, ni Grosha sa Campylobacter species na selected media, so, na naka-idea na Campylobacter species na siya. Pero kinsa na Campylobacter? Again, growth at 42, and hyporate hydrolysis positive. Again, kinsa ng hyporate hydrolysis positive na gram negra si Jejuni Campylobacter. Campylobacter Jejuni. Alright, very good. Again, summary, ayan. Si Jejuni Deers, ayan, very distinct yun, hyporate hydrolysis positive. For H. pylori, very distinct characteristic rapid urease producer. Ayan. That's why we have the urea breath test para sa ito ang mga or sa ito ang mga iyan, no? Or for detecting H. pylori infection. Because again, paspas kaysa ang produce of urease. Alright? So, if na ay mga question na stomach tissue, gibutang o urea agar, and then the color pink uh, or magenta after pila ka hours ra, then that's H. pylori. It's a rapid urease producer. Alright? Another way to differentiate H. Uh, helicobacter and campylobacter is there susceptibility to two antibiotics. Nalilisic acid and cephalotin. Basta ni-ask mo, kung saan antibiotics ang pwedeng gamiton para ma-test uh, or ma-differentiate ang campylobacter and helicobacter, you have nalilisic acid and cephalotin. And take note, growth at 42 degrees Celsius, C. jejunite. Very distinct food. Grows well at 42 degrees Celsius. Ang imong H. pylori, hindi na mag-grow. Alright? Okay, take note of that. Mga non-enterics na pathogens. Alright. Next, number 10, ayan, acid fast, bacilli, niacin, nitrate reduction test, serpentine pattern, or cord-like, cording effect, kinsa ganyan niya siya, cord-like, tuberculosis, or mycobacterium, tuberculosis, tuberculosis, very good. Basta again, beers, niacin, nitrate reduction positive, serpentine pattern, or kanang mura cording effect, that is MTP. Alright. And again, take note of this, so, na ako yung before, kinsa yung uh, share report, no? kinsa yung mga members sa MTB complex. So, si MTB at M. Bovis, pumunta ng Africa, alright, para magpa-pedi, pinipedi, at nakapita sila ng top ray na maliit. <laughs> My crotty. So, again, si 
si Antigas and Bobis pumunta ng Af- Africa, all right? Um, tapos nagpa-pedi sila doon, tapos nakapita sila ng Capri na maliit. Okay, my grotty. So ang kanyati o kanyang upan, wala na ako kapag aso siya isa. Pero muna siya ni Monix, no? Members of the MTB complex. All right, okay. And yes, okay. Now also, summary years for no card yan. No? Aside from casein and the actinomyces, no? We also look at the top water agar. So take note, kisa tong extensive branching and kisa tong minimal branching lang or branching, no? Kunigawas sa una sa board, si recall, extensive branching on top water agar. Ang answer ato kay streptomyces. Kaya na streptomyces sa choices. Alright? So extensive, kisa tong extensive, streptomyces, no cardia, and no cardioxis. Kisa tong uh, branching ra, dermatophilus. Basta extensive branching on top water agar, na compress the buzzer, you have Streptomyces, no cardia, and no cardiopsis. Alright, okay. Next, ayan, 11. Enterics na tao, almost done. A negative methyl red reaction is characteristic of, kinsa man? Enterobacter. Enterobacter. Basta kung kinsa yung cash, di ba? Member man is enterobacter sa cash, which are the VT positive, sila po ang MR negative. Because as we have mentioned, opposite ang reaction sa VT and sa MR. Okay? So, kung VP positive ka, MR negative na ka. Kung MR positive ka, VP negative good ka. Alright? Okay, very good. Next, isolate of E. coli, bloody diarrhea, and di pangutan na, punsa na sugar muna sa, sa i-test before i send sa laboratory for serotyping. So, of course, punsa na itong answer? Sorbitol. Sorbitol. Okay, very good. Sorbitol. Because, ang nasa yung mind, punsa man yung na organism. See? 0157 E-hex, sir. E-coli 0157-H7. Very good. Kasi sa severe bloody diarrhea, hindi pa muntan na pag yun nga, kung saan na sugar, nako, aware na siya Press the buzzer na. That is for sorbitol. No? That is because you're detecting or you're suspecting na the organism is E-coli 0157-H7 or E-hex. Alright. Very good. Okay. Next, you have here, bicarboxylase reaction of enterobacter cloacaine. I mentioned na nato Letter L, di ba? So, sa letter L, rapot siya negative. Therefore, kung siya positive? Letter B, ornithine and arginine dihydrolysis. Ornithine and arginine positive. dihydrolysis. Positive. Take note, enterobacter cloacate, letter L. Sa letter L, rapot siya negative. Ayan. Letter L, rapot siya negative. The rest, kay positive na siya. In comparison or in contrast, enterobacter aerogenes, letter A, siya negative, pero positive na siya sa tanan. Alright? Okay. Ayan, sige. Next, you have, ayan, in the grouping of Shigella organisms, niya glutinate daw sa group C na antisira. So, kinsa may na species of Shigella? Type C is Boidi. Okay, very good. Very good. That is Boidi. Um, BFBS, no? Uh, letters, uh, the group C is your Shigella Boidi. Very good. Okay, so take note, atong mnemonic spheres, ayan. Kani siya ang Shigella group BFBS. And then partner na sila sa A, B, C, D. So in this order, D, F, D, S, siya ang A, B, C, D. So letter A is dysentery A, siya ang group A. F, flexneri, muna siya group B. Letter B here is poidii, siya ang group C. And sone, siya ang group B. Take note, D, F, D, S. In that order, muna siya ang A, B, C, D. Sa mukhang shigella group B. Alright? Okay. And yes, so that's for your uh, shigella. Alright. Now, take note lang, dear, chlamydia. Take note, chlamydia is an intracellular organism. Mara siya virus, no? Obligate intracellular. Take note lang, chlamydia pneumoniae. Na siya what we call the tuar strain. The tuar strain, or known as the Taiwan tuar. Taiwan acute respiratory strain. Alright? It was first isolated in Taiwan. Alright? Chlamydia pneumoniae, tuar. So, sa lungs, yapon siya. Chlamydia cetaci, dear, it's found in mga parrots na birds. Parrots, parakeet. So, ang mga affected, usually, katong mga tig, tig take care na mga birds, no? Ayan, tig ano mga birds. Ay, sa na birds, charot. Next, you have the Riketcha, of course. Riketcha species, memorization with shadiers, no? Just take note lang yun, kinsa, Rocky Mountains, Potted Fever, Riketcha, Riketsi. Si Scrub Typhus, si Orientcha, Chuchugamushi, yes, na ito yan eh. And the different early theosis, the monocytic and the granulocytic early theosis. Alright. And again, kinsa itong makakos, kinsa itong makakos, Sa ibuhang Q fever, your? Coxiella. Coxiella Bernetta. Yeah, don't forget. And a very important characteristic ni Coxiella, it can be transmitted either through aerosols or vector. 
Your rickettsia usually are vector-borne diseases. All right. Okay. Next, the mycoplasma. Of course, take note, urea plasma and M. hominis, these are sexually transmitted diseases. M. pneumonia, again, so yung ginakos na disease, the mycoplasma pneumonia, your... Kung saan ito na type of pneumonia, your... <laughs> typical or walking, walking pneumonia. Very good. Primary atypical pneumonia or walking pneumonia. Very good. Now take note, urea plasma, yung mga agar, A7, A8. It can also grow in Neisseria, yung mga agars. All right. And for biochem sa mycoplasma, take note, urea plasma. Sa pangalan na, positive siya urease. All right? Urea plasma, urealitic ko. Mycoplasma hominis, take note, napot siya, fried egg, appearance siya, ha? Colonies. Take note. Fried egg or sunny side up, no? Fried egg colony sa, sa na appearance, that's mycoplasma hominis. All right. Okay. Sige. Now, remaining na lang here, so I'll answer some case studies sa uh, enterics. Okay. So, number one. Ayan. Sige. So, we'll answer. How do we answer these case studies? All right. Number one, it says here, non-lactose fermenting. Sige. Drap lang daan. Non-lactose fermenting. Ayan. So, again, i-read yun siya word for word. No? Non-lactose fermenting. So, dili pa lang daan na ba tayo ma-erase na non-lactose fermenters? Hmm, parang wala. Alright? Medyo same-same sa daog uh, results. Alright? So, dita mo base dira. We now go to your uh, TSI. K over A, walay H2S. No H2S. So, na ba tayo ma-erase dili? Kaya mo produce at H2S? The produce. produce. Your A and E, wala na. So, you're left na lang with Morganella and Providencia. Now, we go now to your indole. Kung saan itong mnemonics natin for indole positive? My Pepe Kapo. So, My Pepe Kapo stands for Morganella, na po si Providencia. So, dito makagamit o indol. So, we go now to citrate. Ang citrate, ang sarili kong mnemonic sa citrate, Prosec. So, Prosec. Ang sarili kong sa Prosec, Providencia. Kaya pa si Morganella dito? Wala. So, therefore, Morganella is equis kay citrate positive man. So, you're left now with Duhaka Providencia. So, si Providencia is to RTI na lang or si Providencia Red Gary. So, sa itong next na lang tawon, the urease. urease. Tapos, ang urease, between the two, kinsa may positive, si Red Providencia Gary. Red Gary. So, si Providencia Red Gary ang positive sa urease. Therefore, your answer here is Providencia Red Gary. So, take note of that, dears. Okay? That's how we answer mga, bio, uh, mga case studies. You look at mga individual na uh, biochem results and then mnemonics na to. Hindi mo ma-remember. Okay? So, take note of that. So, that's for number one. All right. Number two. Sige. Lactose negative. Kaya po siya. Lactose negative colonies. Sige. Lantawa na to ang choices. Na ba tayo ma-erase dira? Because lactose fermenter? Yes. Na tayo ma-erase. Kung saan? Your? Enterobacter. Enterobacter. Take note. Diba? Enterobacter is a rapid lactose fermenter. EKE. Escherichia. Klebschella. And enterobacter. So, wala na sa enterobacter. You're left now with proteus and Alright, now we go now to the next result. H2S negative. Naku, dira pa lang daan. Na natin oh. ma-erase. Maka-answer na sa. Kinsa may matang-tanga ng H2S negative. Kaya take produce. Si? Produce. So therefore, you're left na lang with Seresha. And that is the answer. O, oh, diba? So Seresha marches sense. Take note also na DNA is positive siya. And gelatin hydrolysis positive. And we have mentioned that DNA is apil si Seresha marches sense. Diba? All right. So, Seresha, Marcius. All right. Number three. Ayan. Three blood cultures. Lactose negative. All right. Lactose negative. Lactose negative. Na ba tayo ma-erase? Dari? Because lactose producer. Na ano po? C? Enterobacter. Mabili na lang tag A, C, and B. All right. Now, we go na to the next biochem. H2S positive. Kita may ma-erase, Ana. Kay H2S producer. Si Seresha. So, you're left na lang with Proteus na duha. The next result is indole negative. So, between the two, kinsa ganyan indole negative, si Proteus. Mirabilis. 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 Very good. So, that's your answer. Take note, how do I remember sa Proteus? Si Proteus vulgaris, vulgar kayo siya, munang ni positive siya sa indole. So, siya ay positive sa umuhang indole. Proteus vulgaris. Alright? Indole positive. And how do I remember also, di ba? Klebschella pneumoniae, and Klebschella oxytoca, we differentiate the two by, kung saan, indole pa rin. So, katong letter T sa oxytoca, mara siya positive. So, siya ang positive sa indole. Alright? So, again, Proteus vulgaris, vulgar kayo siya, mara siya ni positive siya sa imuhang indole. 
And si oxytoca, na siya letter T sa word, na siya T positive for Hindu. Alright. Okay. Sige. Next. Ayan. Ito na naman. Spinal tap. Alright. Okay. Nakamenigitis. Pink colonies. Nako. Ayan. Pink colonies. Dapat tayo ma-erase din eh. Kaya wala. Mga pink colonies. Wala. Because both, all of them are uh, lactose fermenters. Very good. So we go now to the other result. TSI. Acid over acid with gas. No H2S. Dapat tayo ma-erase ani. Wala. No. Okay. Same ragya po silang tanan. Acid-acid. Di ba? EKE na sila. Escherichia. Klebsiella and Enterobacter. We now go to motility. Positive siya. Motil. Na ba tayo ma-erase sa akin? Klebsiella. Of course. Very good. The duha, Klebsiella. Because your Klebsiella is non-motil. So you're left na lang with Enterobacter. Loa K and Aerogenes. So good thing na ay Loa. So muna siya itong basihon na. So Loa, sa A na siya negative. So therefore, A na siya negative. So kinsa may Aerogenes. Aerogenes. Aerobacter. So that's how we answer bio bio mga case studies tiers. All right. So I hope na get rest of low. All right. Look at the distinct characteristics and then balik na po kasi choices. Na ba ko yung erase ani? Na ba ko yung mapabilin ani? All right. And if na ko yung erase, very good. No, if wala, ato na po next characteristic. Na ba ko yung erase ani? Na ba ko yung mapabilin? Until you are left with one choice na lang. Okay. All right. And last na lang for enterics. Ayan. Bloody culture using culture media. Sa mga konki, many non-lactose fermenting. So, dira pa lang daan. Many non-lactose fermenting. Na ba tayo ma-erase, Ani? Sa choices? Na, ah? Many non-lactose fermenting. Na tayo ma-erase ba sa choices? Or wala? Wala. Non-lactose fermenter, man. Ang non-lactose. So, ma-erase na ito si Kinsaman. E. coli. E. coli, yeah. Because your E. coli is a lactose fermenter. So, you're left now with Shigella, Salmonella, and Fructose. So, ang HE, many blue-green. Ang clear colonies daw sa Maconky, yung biochem, negative for oxidase, indole, urease, motility, and also H2S. Nako, sa H2S pala. Negative for H2S. So, kinsa mo itong pwedeng matang-tang nira? See? Kinsa mo itong mga H2S producers? Your? Salmonella. 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 Tang-tang na. So, you're left na lang with? Chicken. That is the answer. Take note, there's basta mga biochem, gani kay negative, negative, no? Dagan kay negative, no? Nega kayo siya, that is Shigella. Because your Shigella is biochemically inert. When you say inert, dili kayo siya mo produce yung biochem results, alright? Except sa MR, positive siya MR si Shigella. But the rest, negative yun, alright? So that's how we answer your biochem, yung mga case studies here sa enterics. So I hope na-get ko sa approach and sa flow. Baka medyo TMI pa, pero ako na yung advice, i-memorize nyo na itong mnemonics. Sa indole positive, kaysa itong mga citrate positive, kaysa itong H2S producers. Because from there, makabalo na ka. No? You don't really need to be, you don't need to memorize with the, the TSI. Kaysa ka nakaayo. Mas ma-TMI niya ka. Alright? Now, remaining sets na lang for para ng mga questions. Number one, uh, consider naman patients with PTB, especially those in sore sogon. Kaysa mo yung sa sore sogon. Basta in the si paragonimiasis. Take note here sa, basta sa question ay sorsogon, sorsogon, and then mo yun pag good na nagkaon o crabs, that's paragonimus. Remember that the mode of transmission of paragonimus is ingestion of crabs, crayfish, or lobster. Alright. Number two, kasoni intradermal test, the skin test, para kinsa ganin ni? Your? Sa mani? Kasoni. Okay. Echinococcus granulosus, Cassoni intradermal test. Your cystosoma is the Fairley's test. Chickenella spiralis is Bachmann intradermal test. And Toxoplasma gondii is Toxoplasma. I think that was his skin test. Basta. Yes. Cassoni, Echinococcus granulosus. How do you remember? Letter C, the gampong letter C, Echinococcus. Alright? Okay. Cassoni, Echinococcus granulosus. Number three. Ayan. Which of the following is a dimorphic? Fungus. Okay, answer your answer. Cryptococcus. Cryptococcus, sir. Cryptococcus? Jokes. Ihala na ako ang virus, sir. Maiko day, maiko. Paana? Demorphic fungus. Candida. Ha? Shenkai. Yes, ang answer is sporotrix. Ano sa tungkol? So, dyan mo nagtoon sa ano nga may sasabi. Your sporotrix shenkai, shenkiai, is dimorphic. Together with blastomyces, histoplasma capsulatum, oxidioides, 
you have paracoxidioides, penicillium marnifane, and sporotrix. Sila na mga dimorphic fungus. The rest, wala. No? Candida, cryptococcus, mga yeast na sila. Aspergillus, molds, ragun na. Okay? Take note, don't forget there, so sick po na ang pila ka points. Mahalag, it's a point na si Michael and Piro. <laughs> Grabe kayo mo. Okay? Alright, sige. Alright. Number four, viruses, they contain, on saman, both, neither, or either. Either. Or either. 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 Either or neither. <laughs> either. <laughs> All right. The correct answer is either. Take note, here that your viruses can only have one and never both the nucleic acid, either DNA or RNA. Take note, ha, either or na siya. All right. And the last question, which of the following is a DNA virus? That's a manani. At yung mnemonics, di ba? Na-remember ninyo? Ay, wala nalita nagsimus. Parvo. Parvovirus B19 is... Parvovirus, ra? Ah, uh, wait. Ah. Ito sa mga. Morag, sir. Parvo, ra? Parvo, ra? Nakaya niyo. Ano mo dyan? Great. Tara. Tama? Um, HIV, sir? Ano siya? Ano sa ilahin niyo mo, answer? Ang um, HIV. HIV? Delay. Okay, sige. HIV ba? Okay, sige. Sa may lang answer, parvovirus ra ba? Parvovirus ra ba? Ano okay. <laughs> may final answer? Parvovirus? Sa man. Ano may final answer? Or delay? Yes. Hindi pa ba kayo? Why? BK virus? BK virus po? BK. <laughs> All right. So the correct answer here, dears, is actually yes. Two of the choices. No, your BK virus is also a DNA virus. Now take note of our mnemonics. Yeah, that's just a recorded gapon, but I feel like wala niyong wala niyong watch. So our mnemonic nato is Papa add po hehe. So if nakai crush di ba, magpapa add po hehe sa Facebook. Charot. So what's the meaning sa Papa add po hehe? Pa is for parvovirus. That's your parvovirus. Another pa is papil a papovirus. Another papovirus that is papilloma and polyoma. Your BK virus is under polyoma viridae. So, under sa polyoma viridae, dears, your BK virus, your JC virus, nato sila. Alright. Papilloma, HPV. Alright. Next, AB, adenoviridae. So, under an eyes, of course, adenovirus. Next, PO is pox. Smallpox, cowpox, no, nasa ngalan na. HE, of course, herpes viridae. Alright. So, your herpes simplex, varicella zoster, Epstein Barr, CMV, that is herpes viridae. And the last na HE, HEPA DNA. No, sa una, pag-pronounce na ako kay HEPAD na, per karon, HEPA DNA. And kita niya na hepatitis virus, hepatitis B. Okay, so this is our ano, DNA viruses. So tanang viruses outside of these families, they are considered RNA virus. So ang pseudomixo and HIV, those are all RNA viruses. Viruses. All right. So, Papa at po hehe. Parvo viride, Papova viride, Adeno viride, um, Pox viride, Herpes viride, and finally Hepa DNA viride. All right. So, hopefully, ang magawa sa inyo ang exam kay families na dili na katong mas specific na virus. Okay. So, ayan. So, everything outside of the families here, sila ang RNA virus. Okay. So, take note. Wala niyo memorize. Basta makabulo naman kung kinsa DNA virus okay na. All right. Okay. Ayan. Sige. And lastly, dears, for mucor mycosis, mucor mycosis, the best specimen of choice is biopsy. Take note, dears, ha, baka lumabas ulit sa kompre. I'm not saying nalalabas siya, pero baka lumabas. Mucor mycosis, specimen of choice, is biopsy. Mucor mycosis, M-U-C-O-R, mycosis. All right? Mucor mycosis. All right. And that's the end. Yes, pasensya, medyo nag-extend na konti. And that's the end of our reinforcement lecture. Kamusta man, dears? How did you find it? <laughs> Kamusta man? Medyo ano lang.